Hello YouTubers and fellow ScreenX fans, my name is Daryl from Final Fantasy Fan, and today we're continuing our Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. So I'm gonna start off with my uh, single player character here again, as usual. And we got past the boring part a little bit, and we're now into the interesting part. So, kind of curious what we're gonna encounter. Well, I actually know what we're up against soon. But uh, it's been a while since I've played this, so I have... Mm, how would I put it? A little bit of a vague memory of about what's to happen. I have the general idea of it. Then we got some big fights coming up. Or at least one big fight coming up. Which I'm wondering if they changed as well, because a lot of things have changed last time I played these. Oh yeah, <clears throat> uh, we were about to enter this. If you're above maximum allowed level, the will be synced. Well, 21, I'm 29, so that's definitely a sync. Ah, the Conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our mining operations can resume, and Uldan will have the materials she needs to rebuild. The entire nation is in your debt, friend. I'll share good tidings with Papa Sean the next time I see him. As for you, you'll want to report to Momidi. I'll do the woman well to see you alive in one piece. No! Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. Please, sir. I didn't steal nothing. I bought this. Paid for it with my own coin. What rot. You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford a maggoty mole meat, much less a cho choice cut of dodo. I'm going to say it one more time. Give back what you stole or I'll make you wish you'll never set foot in town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades. You know, I'll keep the streets safe for law-abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities need not hear of your crimes. Bunch of fucks. I'm not gonna stand for that. But I ain't done nothing wrong. Twelve is my witness. No one's gonna help, really? Even a brass blade over there? Or that's not a brass blade? No, it's not. Please, adventurer, help me! I beg of ye! Don't worry, we'll help you. I swear on your mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I bought this with the coin I saved. I only wanted to treat my children to a decent meal. And who the hell's are you when you're at home? The dog's master? I've had enough of the murmur's face. You lot, teach them a lesson. Let's go then. Take care of this, the rest of you watch. Yeah, you ain't gonna go anywhere, Mehdi. Gonna take these guys as well, might as well just attack them now, right? Are all of those guys his bodyguards? Those are their brass blades. Yo, 
Yo, the F100. Welcome back to the stream, buddy. How you been? And we're done. It's a battle theme from Final Fantasy 1. You got owned. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventurer. Thank you, thrice over. The Echo. We get the experience what truly happened. It's one of the powers we have as the Warrior of Light. can experience things that happened, things that are, and things that will happen. There she is. I'd swear there were more refugees than when last I looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? It's simple, really. While our numbers of our hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity, many were no longer able to support the communities. The residents found the lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from the trade routes. A problem like those aren't easily solved, though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? The same thing happened in other cities. If the talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Ulda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them, it truly does, but it would be lying if I said that wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't foment lawlessness in our city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the brass blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Garlean Empire patrolling the streets for riffraff? May well come to that. Impo impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure that they, some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this is like. If you're no coin, you've no hope. This guy's dressed pretty fancy. What will become of her city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Get your dodo tenderloins. Guaranteed cheapest in Phanalin. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. So she did. Bye. Looking around, you think that Ulda was well on his way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. That's true. Hey, sir. Are you alright? Huh. Who are you? Ah, you. Yes, I helped you. What now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? You just did the same, buddy. What? Saw her buy that meat, you say? That's absurd. Aye, as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable folger. Who said that? Everyone's against you, buddy. Urgh, I will overlook this, but just this once. Yeah, run while you still can. God bless you, adventurer. If you hadn't come along when you did, who knows what the monster might have done. I don't bear thinking about... That's why you had that little glow in instance. Like, when you see that, you know the battle's coming up. All's well that ends well. That's Sancred, isn't it? Yep. We meet again. 
Pray do not mistake my intent, for it's always honorable, but I have been watching you ever since you departed Ulda. You played the part of the envoy to perfection, covenant as a man on a diplomatic mission should be, yet unfailingly courteous to your betters, and when your travels lead you to the midst of danger, you faced it without so much as a flinch. You, my friend, are quite a marvel, and I confess to being somewhat in awe of you. <coughs> uh, but my lavish praise continues. Most of all, I was struck by your readiness to aid those in need. Even when words were all the reward you could expect to receive, such selflessness is a rare thing in this day and age. All which leads me to conclude that you are indeed the one who I have been looking for, an adventurer possessed of a very rare set of qualities. To be sure, you rescued a damsel in distress was more of a happy accident. A rescuer you did, and this is what matters in the end. I feel I should mention at this point that I also harbor a burning interest in a certain talent of yours. I speak of your visions. You have been experiencing visions, have you not? Well, it just so happens that I know a woman who shares your talent and can help you understand it. She and I belong to the same organization and we should both be delighted, beyond words, if you would agree to join our cause. Naturally, there are benefits to being such part of such a collective. For one, we should be able to we should be glad to assist you in realizing your potential as an adventurer. You need not give me your answer now. Think upon it, and if you feel moved to help us, as I pray I you shall, speak with Momidi, the ever lovely youthful mistress of the quicksand. Tell her the scions of the Seven Dawn have found their man, and she will tell you where to find us. The scions, here we go. That'll be a big part of the story. A gigantic part of the story. Seems like they've become ever more common. I'm afraid, don't worry though. If you work hard, you'll probably be alright. So he's like me when I was starting the game. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a <coughs> spot of butter, come and see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you grace your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing all the gentleman's woe with the woman folk from time to time. Ah, Vexed, sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to refresh all the carriage adventure. But God, it's, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you had been working hard as with giants in the dark. I never doubted for a moment that you succeed, of course, and neither did Papa Pichon, which ain't to say he wasn't overjoyed. And before I forget, there's a lass here who wants to work with you. Didn't actually know your name, but bearing her description, I knew what she meant right away. Oh, it's her. The one that got her tank killed. Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been lodging to speak with you for a while now. My name is Ed, I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, truth be told anyway. I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of a party was killed. His name was Avir and he and, he and I were to be wed in the spring. He may not remember me, but to say he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you are. You see, an adventurer's adventurer. I swore that he would be like you one day. I believe that he would have succeeded had a fan, had a fiend not robbed him of his chance. Since that day I've thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. When I think of the man you are, and all that you have achieved, I find that I am inspired, just as Avair was once. So I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and give him my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first to ask you your name. Vexus. Vexus Jaeger. I shan't forget. Thank you, Vexus Jaeger. I pray that we will meet again. Very well. I know we will. Adventuring can be cruel, bleeding business, time was. I don't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild there, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Thought it'd be a right pain in the arse looking after you all. But against my better judgement, I decided to accept the post, and I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be part of your lives. And it goes double for you, Vexes. I like you too, Momidi. Thanks. Uh, what did you say? You want to know about the science of the Seventh Dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest, then. Listen, Vexus, the Scions ain't no ordinary folk, and the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well what you're capable of, but even you would think twice of attempting such stuff as they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Let's go. Sticking with the pointy end. 
and we're level up. Level 30. Umidi is ready to tell you what she knows about the signs of the Seven Dawn. So you want to know more, do you? Well, well, ain't that a surprise? I swear I paid a certain death on a door and a little li and lit him. So wow, and one door limitless wealth on another. Nine of the ten adventurers would go through the first, and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being Uldam. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust the signs on the Seven Dawn, you can. They're good people who made it their mission to solve some of Yorsha's most pressing problems. Of course, that ain't no small task, and so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, Vexus. Now, I've been giving leave to tell you where to find the science, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself, as you can probably imagine it's something Eorzea's enemies would very much like to know. <coughs> the science are headquarters in, this, in Vespers Bay, out in Western Felonen. The place you're looking for is called the Walking Sands. Give your name who is ever at the entrance, and you'll let in. You're a man of demand, Vexus, and the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget your old friend Momidi. Drop in and tell me how you're faring from time to time, you hear? Right, well, I've set my piece. Off you go. Alright. I'm the number one tank in the current matchup. Uh, having said that, let's go do our class quest since we're level 30 now. We still need a new helmet as well, because that feather thing here... Oh wait, I, I already equipped my eye patch. We still need a proper helmet, I suppose. The Steps of Fall. Ulda. Well, just in time, I suppose. Would be funny if this is the one I need. Exercising the right. There we go. We got one combination. Yay. I think you get a reward if you get 500 or something. Definitely helps being the tank. Tank or healer. They get most combinations. What is the quest I'm doing? 25? Yes, 25. There's no helmet here, bah. Ah, it's this heavy iron armor. I don't like that armor, to be honest. That one is both your... Uh, it looks weird. Yeah, it's the helmet and the chest piece combined. Ah, Vexus, I must apologize for my earlier behavior. As first sword, my duty, my duty is not only to foster your growth as a gladiator, but also to protect you from dangers you're not ready yet to face. I did not know that Leovold had become the leader of Alacrim. Had he chosen to bear his steel dust, many of, more of us would have not returned alive. I need, know, I need to know why he's returned to a life of crime, and so I've ordered my best man to scour Felonu for any trace of the whereabouts. Fortunately, one of them has disappeared. I have strong suspicions that he's been taken prisoner by the Alacrim or worse. If there is any hope of saving him, we must act quickly. I would have you search for our missing comrade. His last reported state that he was tracking the Alcran near the Hammerson Western Fallonlin. If you go there, you may find some clues to his fate. I've been far too reckless in the recent days and let too many good gladiators come to harm. 
Please fax us. Find our missing comrade or bring him home safe. Yes, ma'am. So the hammers, that's... Here. To the gate of the Sultana. 80, 80 steps of Sasamo, something like that. Uh, the 80 sins of Sasamo. Roll waiting list number, retrieving information. I thought you were in need of tanks. It's probably because I'm only capable of doing the first three dungeons. Now they need a healer. But when I joined it was tank, so do I still get my bonus? That's my question. Yeah, now I got an eye patch on. <laughs> I don't like the color, but it the eye patch kind of suits my character, not gonna lie. Trap brother. It's worms. Some fine swordsmanship, Vexus. Myla, hmm. First sword certainly knows how to pick him. Yeah, even after all these years, I can't bright, quite bring myself to call her that. See, I still remember when her father first brought her to the guild. A wee lass who cried at the sight of naked steel. Look at her now. You swear she was born with a blade in her hand. Not like so much as I had a choice, but the rise to the occasion, though. With all the troubles Elders got in seven years ago, selfish bastard. You should never have. Ah, but enough of my rambling. I'll make, your w I'll make my way back to Olaf to after a short rest. You go ahead and tell Mela that I'm fine. We're first in queue now for tank, so it should pop any moment, I suppose. Guild. Vexus, thanks you got, you're alright. I heard about ambush at the hammers. Excellent work. You've been invaluable to the guild and I can't thank you enough. In fact, I believe you deserve a much needed rest. Take some time for yourself and return when you've recuperated. Before you go, speak with Lutsu. I believe she has a message for you. I've this. The very gladiator was seeking. Lean closer, for I would not have others hear my words. The elder sent his regards and requests you to meet him at Lichard in eastern Fenelon. Naturally, I've not divulged this information to the first sword. As you may have gathered from her previous interaction, she's still upset with him. Would likely forbid any further association. Quite understandable, since he was clearly being groomed to become the next guildmaster before. That horrible scandal. Ah, they would have made such a lovely couple. Um, forgive me. It's hardly an appropriate topic to a conversation anyway. You have my word that the first sort will not hear any of a rendezvous with me, from me. Camp Drybone, is it? Oh. 
I hope I still have my ticket, though. Ah, uh, uh, Copper Bell Mines.
There's that tethered again. I'm gonna wait rolling. <laughs> I want that tethered. <laughs> As if all, if all of, oh, there we go. <laughs> now I've got it. I'm just gonna wait with rolling. Because if they need, and they leave before the dungeon ends, the left, the leftover guy will always get the loot. Because they left the dungeon. I just kind of wanted that foe striker, really. I don't know, it's a simple but nice looking set, I always think. I got the full set now, let's see. I kind of like this set. It's not the best for my current class, mind you, but... Oh no, that helmet will not do. No way. There we go. Uh, yeah, I was about to teleport. So we are now, where are we? Eastern Fallon, let's see if we have anything here. There we go, Wellwick Wood, there's one. So there's one. Uh, Eastern Fallon and the Wellwick Wood. There's so many quests here. Let me do the main quest here, or not the main quest, the class quest. Once we have that, we'll go to Wellwick Wood. We got the Gherkin Runner, is it? Gherkin Runner. 
think there's somewhere here. I didn't join the queue because I figured this was one of those uh, instances battles. I were being synced two levels down. And where have you been? Busy drowning in some sweet young thing's eyes? Well, if that's the case, I understand completely. It's been seven years since Myla's father who laid the rest here. He was a man. He was a mean and stubborn and old goat through and through, but guts, when he danced with his sword in hand, it was pure poetry in motion. Myla's right, there's no way I could know what it was like for her back then, forced to replace her father under such terrible circumstances. Hey, it's Kitty Cat again. And who might you be, another of Leovold's lackeys? Master Leovold has been most distressed since learning of your return. This is unacceptable. Your master does not deserve your loyalty, kitten. When you have outlived your usefulness, he'll dispose of you like so many others. Believe me, I speak from personal experience. Say what you will, I will not be swayed. She looks awfully determined to kill me. Still, I'm not really in the mood to play. Mind stopping her, Vexus? Yes, I will. Let's dance, kitty. Time for this scum. Very well. Read our movements, Vexus. It's not exactly high literature. Your interference is inexcusable. Your inexperience is inexcusable. Bye. Gone stronger. Good. I'm glad Myla has a man like you to rely upon. She's her father's daughter, a leader of men, a true warrior, and an obs obstinate woman who loses her feelings, cloud her judgment. Which is why she needs to be surrounded by dependable women who will give her a good counsel and keep her in temper in check. Now more than ever, stick by her. She needs you more than she knows. She needs you, Aldis. <laughs> yep. Haven't you listened to a word I said? She needs dependable people. In case you haven't noticed, I'm anything but. I'm only here because of unfinished business. When it's settled, there'll be no reason left for me to stay. I owe it to our old man to put an end to this. To give him peace in false realm by making the bastard Leovold finally answer for his crimes. Remember what I said, Faxtus. Now go. She's probably wondering where you are. Alright, level's no longer synced. <clears throat> I think they want me to return to Ulda. Uh, yes, they do, but I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna queue this. And then I wanna go to Wellwick. Which is quite a distance without a chocobo. Hopefully, that's something we'll fix soon enough. Take the Moogle. Can already cost her turn again, that's good. this again? High road? High bridge. I like this area. Look at the giant crystals in the background. 
So, Wellwick Wood. Uh, Gherkin Row Runner. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they should be here. There we go. This is that base. You got a uh, large fate here called Attack on High Bridge, which is in several parts. So, and I know these guys were there, so. Finished. Let's teleport. No need to stick around here. You're staring at me like a vexus. Is something the matter? You're behaving rather oddly. Well, I'm afraid I have no news regarding the Alacrin's movement. I remain confident that we will find them soon, though, so keep your blart blade sharp. Your blart sharp. Yeah. Guess I'll just go with the gauntlets then. How do they compare to what I'm wearing? Go with the silver instead. Let's go with the silver instead. Iron Spada and Iron Scudum. Yeah. First Sword Myla is extremely upset due to recent turn of events. I'll need that helmet. Damn it all to the seven hell. This is madness. It's Eldest. He's been arrested by the Brass Blades. They claim he was plotting to assassinate the Sultana. This is utter nonsense. He has no motive to do so, and whatever I have said about the man, he would never resort to using potion. The Alacrim must be behind this. They failed to kill him time and time again, and they're now reaching out to the monetarist allies. They didn't want to believe women when he said he had such influence, but... Wait, that's it. If anyone can help us unravel a plot, it's women. He has a reputation for knowing things he shouldn't, after all. Find women, see what he can tell us. Aldous is many things, but he's not a murderer. Alright. That's the guy that's at the start with the, with the spectacles, with the glasses. I think we got our first silver pieces in this game. It's all going into the savings. Next time I'm at the Right Plaza, I'll probably have to look for the Link Shell Operator thingy guy. Link Shell, there we go. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna go there yet because I don't have the money or the people for it anyway at this point. So this one's worth 500 gold each. That's quite an upgrade. Actually, we might we might drop by because it's really close. Now we've got an iron scudum and an iron spada. Those are Roman weapons. If I'm not mistaken. 
Let's go visit the link shell first. Let's see what we need in order to start our clan. Link shell distributor, here we go. I represent the interests of nations and educating adventurers on technologies available for strengthening the bonds between them. To that end, I would like to introduce you to the link shell. A link shell enables you to communicate with others over any distance, as if they were before your very eyes. You may have as many as eight link shells open at any given time, allowing you to communicate simultaneously with a number of people. The only time your physical presence is required is, well, never. Would you like to give it a try? You can create a personal link show for you now, if you'd like. I want a free company. Where do I do that? Wait, how do I start a guild again? I am. I really haven't been into this game for a very long time. Guess we'll have to figure that out. I know I did that before. I kind of forgot where, because you have these um, vaults somewhere. Here we go. Company chests. I forgot. Maybe we can't yet. Um... Uh, unavailable at this point. I was wondering where you might come along, Vexus. Frankly, I'm surprised elves went so quietly. You ought to know that there's no walking away from this. You really don't know, do you? Best I started beginning then. Well, this is something of an enigma. He and Leovolt were the two greatest gladiators ever to grace the blood sense, but he threw it all that hard fought glory away for a few gil more. See, the average Uldan loves a good Colosseum fight. And what better way to make a gladiatorial spectacle more entertaining than wagering on the outcome? So when it got out that Eldis was orchestrating a match-fix scheme of untold proportions, well, you can imagine the shock and anger that people that people that people felt. He was expelled from the Colosseum, and his wins were stricken from the record. Your guildmaster Myla got the worst of it, though. Not only was her friend exposed as a fraud, but around the same time, her father fell ill and passed away. There were some oddities surrounding his death, too. It was rumored he took his own life out of shame for a disgraced pupil, or that he might have even been murdered by the man. Baseless conjuncture, really, but it made Elders look the much worse. In the end, Mina lost his two of the most important men in his life and was forced to take charge of the guild alone. And Leovold? He tried to go in solo on the blood sense, but it wasn't the same. Without, Aldo, without Elders, his career was finished. Now you know the nature of men you so desperately want to save, though. Judging from the look in your eyes, I gather you still have your reservations. Fine, then. And you can't blame me for adopting a man I found in possession of Ralgar's Baal. It's a Val potion. Rare and expensive, too. Only the Corpse Brigade knows how to make it. I hear... Gods only know when to give it to Eldest. Could, the, could their HQ at the Sepulcher in the Southern Talon ask him... Direct, I reckon. I have an aversion to direct confrontation, personally. But you don't, do you? By the way, should you save the poor bastard's life? Tell him we're... Evan and... We're even. And then I hope it was all worth it. So, you want me to go to Southern Valhalla? Yes, okay. Interesting choice. Then, I guess we will. So, we will go to the Steps of Fall then. And then we will search for our hunting marks in Southern Valhalla. Which I'm, plenty, which I'm sure there's plenty of. Always got to keep track on your hunts whenever you're in a new area. Let's see, Southern Fenland, nope. South Shroud, nope, 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 nope. There we go, Broken Waters, that's one. Only one, Broken Waters, the Goblin Thugs. So with a Duty Finder. This sword looks a little less cool than the other one did. This one's kind of short. I used to have a sword like that. 
when I collected swords behind locks. I had I had them in a cabinet that was locked up. You could see through the cabinet because it was a glass cabinet. But I have to I used to have a spada. Short but very sharp, pointy little sword. I think I gave it to a friend for his birthday. He might still have it. Easy mode. Got one commendation, I'll take it. That was that one. Annoyed avoid. Let's go with that one then. There we go. Realm mapping. Southern Fenelon. Okay, so broken water. Let's go get Hello. Who are you guys? Oh, this is broken water, alright. leveled up from the guild nest, otherwise this one would have leveled me up. This one has a crystal as well, yeah, I might as well get that crystal right now. here, take this crystal, do this, and then go south. Then we'll teleport back. That's a long hike, but all in a day's work, I suppose. So we got 12 out of 46 kills. So we still need 34 kills in total for our hunting log. Eighteen commendations, I'll take that. So we got the first one. 
The second one is 50 accommodations. We'll get this Prensley Hatchling. And then at 100, we get a Partition Crown. 500, no, at 300, we get the Sovereign Barney. 500, we get the Gilded Magitek Armor. At 1500, we get this best gown ever. At 3000, we get the Parade Chocobo Whistle. Parade Chocobo. I don't think I have that one. I have the Drought Chocobo. Just need a healer now. This is where those bandits are, weren't they? Or at least humanoids, I forgot what... Oh, someone's, someone's also doing a quest, it seems. He's in the same quest as I am. Rogers Bell. Just help each other, right? <laughs> there we go. He's teleporting out. I'm not going to, though. I know why he does, because he's done with his quest, but I still need this. Forgotten Springs. Could do it some other time, I suppose, but I might as well do it now since I'm here. I'm waiting for my cue anyway. Sunken Temple of Quorn, was it? Yeah. I remember that dungeon. Interesting one, with a lot of mechanics. So I got the bonuses already today, so don't need to do any of these.
DPS, hurry up. You're going to be late. I think you won't accept. No, no, just in time. you're supposed to click those flames because they will summon ads. No accommodations there, that's fine. So now we've done all of them, except for Shadow and Claw, which we need to be level 35 for. Oh, these guys are pretty high, actually. Just walk through some level 45s. Be able to go into the gatekeeper yet. Fallen Corpses Riff in style. I think that's the Menderville one. Yeah, it is. A Dapper Zombie. Nope, they're still after me though. That's a special fate there. That was quick though, that might have been the quickest one so far. Two combinations, let's go. That's why I'm doing them for the combinations.
there's the Eve right we need to go to. Well, that's quick though. They were really, they were really in need of a tank. No, no recommendations. <laughs> this is a uh, Mikote area. All of these are, well, most of them are Mikote. I think all of them actually. We got the desert springs here. All right. Now that we've done that, uh, Mila, all right, let's teleport back. Now that we have both Ephorites there. Oh, it's popped already. Still loading though. game. wonder which one we get. This one again. This one seems to be the most common one of all. Well, we got one, for only a few seconds work anyway. Are they still in need of tanks? Yes, they are. Wow. Instant, like instant. Like the moment I pressed it, it popped up. They are most definitely in need of tanks. And another one of these.
was trying to run back, but I always get teleported, so there's no point in running, really. Well, we got one. As long as we're getting one, I'm happy. Oh, Myla. Where have you been, Vexus? Eldest has been given an or begin now over to the custody of the Sarcarian. They mean to execute him. We must do something. Well, I got these. This potion. You've proved the eloquent purchaser from the Corpse Brigade. Thanks to God, you've done it. Quickly, we'll show this to the official presiding over his execution at Highbridge. Go now. Back to Drybone. We're at 61,000 gold right now. I don't know where we got all that gold from all of a sudden, but... Do we get a lot from these guild hests? Surely not. We get like one third of a K. I guess we do get a little bonus for being the adventurer in need. Another one. Jeez, it's always this one. Hey, we got another one. <laughs> I'm not sure where we are right now. 21, 22, something along those lines? 23, nice. Well, they still need tanks, so as long as they'll need tanks, I'll start providing my services. These cues are instant right now. Well, it's finally something else. This one's worth 2,000. Oh, that's because we did the, uh, the log, the challenge log. Hey, we got one. Another one.
should be somewhere here, I think. Here or on top. I think he's down there. Oh, down there. So again, these are still areas I'm quite familiar with. But you guys need a tank, so what's happening? Number three in the list, no thanks, I'll wait. Withdraw. Sarcrarium has sentenced you to death for the crimes against the Sultanate. Have you any last? Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I got this, and I got this. This guy is innocent. But if you want to fight for it, that's fine, let's go. These are bold accusations you make, adventure. However, the Sacrarium has been found that the prisoner guilty in the eyes of gods and men and will be executed forthwith. Not if I can help it. Don't waste your breath, Vexus. This skill has always yielded to wealth above all else, and Leofold spent a fortune to secure my sentence. Silence, criminal. And you, what are you waiting for? Do it! Where did that hell this? Just couldn't stay away, could you? Well, at least I don't have to steal the headman's ex. Yeah, he never was. A, he never was uh, planning on dying. If the gods, if the gods are to have blood this day, I'm afraid it won't be mine. Since you two are so devout, perhaps you'd be willing to offer yourself in exchange. Mercy. <laughs> well, we ain't done yet. There we go. Godwin. Interfering with the law of a hideous crime. In fact, I believe it is punishable by death. Some rock back Rock Tech Band of Fiends versus the uh, Gladiator Guild. I had a feeling this spectacle would draw you here. I should have dealt with you myself from the start. Come, let's dance, brother. So it is to be a rematch? Very well, I accept. Millie and the others need you, Vecnus. Leave this to me. Let's go. Upbeat music starting. Ruined conviction. Breaking limits is the only true way of a warrior of light could. Nice. stop working it's the ring because we're above level 30 now Wait, what? 
What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't check my health. What happened? Normal. Hey, screw, screw easy. Didn't know that was a thing. Can't remember the last time I died during one of these events. That was interesting. I didn't even check my health there. I think I took too much aggro there. first. go. Beat all of them. They did a little damage there. Victory! Alice! Alice! Shield bash. Slash, 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 slash. That's Rage of Alone, I believe. You almost had me, Leovold. Stay back. I won't have your pity. You just had to have it all, didn't you? Just one victory. Just one bloody match. But your precious ego couldn't accept that. You ruined everything. Tell me, Eldis, how does it feel to lose your name, your legacy, everything you've ever loved? I want to know how much you suffered. Let it go, Leovold. It's over. Like hell it is. I swear you will never know peace. None in this life, or the next. Leovold! Oh! That's a long way down. You mean damn well neither of us will see Fall's realm? Let's go. Our comrades are waiting. Well, we kicked Elecron's ass, that's for sure. Back to the Gladiators Guild. I don't think we can progress into a Paladin yet, because our main story is way too low. 
I think I had this problem when I was playing with Dan as well. So I was doing research, like do I still need to level up my uh, Conjurer like he did in the past, but nope. I'm glad you were there, Vextus. Without you, I doubt we could have defeated the Alacrim. Now, oh, have you considered the Colosseum? It'd make a wonderful attraction, of course. You need a little that befits your prowess. Now that it's all over, you'll be staying, won't you? No. Leofold may be dead, but the Alacrim are far from finished. I'd rather not linger and give them another chance to regroup and seek revenge. It is true, the tragedy... It's a true tragedy that I cannot enjoy the company of all those lovely ladies any longer, but I have faith that equally radiant beauties await me in the distant lands. Hell, this I... Not another word, my dear. It's bad enough that the first sword is permitted to disgrace Gladiator to fraternize with her subordinates. Can you imagine the scandal if she become personally involved with this man? Nevertheless, I understand how you feel, Myla. I'm known to have this effect on the fairer sex. <laughs> I should have let the hetman have your way with you. I should have let the hetzman have his way with you. That way you might have learned some humility. Ah, uh, but how am I supposed to be remembered a lesson without a hat? Your father would be proud of you, Myla. Don't ever change. Ah uh, yes, there's one more thing I wanted to say before I go, Vexus. Seven years ago, before my last match in the Blood Sands, I was given an offer. A Sultan's ransom in exchange for a loss. Leofeld begged and pleaded, but it just couldn't do it. Call it honor or pride or whatever you like. I made my choice and in spite of all that came of it to here, I dare say I have no regrets. It's a simple thing that know what's it's a simple thing to know what's right. Listen to the heart of yours and I will never lead you astray. Trust in your comrades, have faith in your skill, and you will triumph over any adversary. And with that, I bid you all farewell. Better not have to wait seven years to see that bastard again. There's still so much, so much I want to. What in the seven hells are you looking at? This is a trading hall. Why aren't you trading right now? <laughs> if you think all it takes to stand on the blood sands is a sword and a stupid grin? No, it takes years of hard work, an ocean of blood and sweat, an unbreakable will. Every man and woman here has the potential to become a champion, but it is you and you alone who decides your destiny. So answer me now, gladiators. Will you follow in the footsteps of your brothers and sisters and inscribe your names in legend? Ah. Alright. So we got the Makahuti... Mak... Makwatil? Bull Hoplon. Let's get that helmet. This one time at level 30. Alright. Uh, let's get that sword. I don't like the looks of a sword, but it is stronger. Let's get the Bullhoplon. Let's get that helmet. How does the helmet look on my current armor? Uh, yeah, I can work with that, I suppose. Does this one have a visor? It doesn't, right? No, it doesn't. There's this weird thing on top, which technically should be a visor, I believe. This one should be able to fold down. But whatever. We don't have the new quest available yet, as I figured. We're too we're too low in the main quest. I'm not sure what exactly is required to remove that little tree here. Well, do we still need tanks? No, we need... He oh yeah, we need tanks for the guild tests. Let's go. Thirty commendations, and then we'll stop for today for the guild tests. Not with streaming. I want to continue a little bit. Story's picking up nicely now.
We got one. I'll take it. So that's five down. Or, uh, well, one down, five to go. Oh, we got Braving New Depths as well, a new quest that's available here. That is... Temple of Sunken Corn, isn't it? I don't remember, actually. Might as well pick it up, because we have no quests available. Metric Iron Heart. Looks like it. Hail adventurer, you went to the expression of one who seeks new battlegrounds on your burgeoning skills. Do not ask Nedric knows, he simply knows. Now tell me, if you are perchance familiar with the Sunken Temple of Quarn, I will not hold against you if you are not. The ruins of a s only surfaced when the calamity split the ground asunder. After all, any road, it's possible it's a popular destination these days for adventurers like f looking for new frontiers to explore. If you're keen to join them, why not make your way to Southern Tannelin and visit the temple for yourself? What will the many dangers that lurk within? The immortal flames are keeping close watch over the place, but Lalafell by the name of Bibimi should be able to offer you a passage. Alright. Hello, Tataru. Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. Throw la 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 she's a troll. Woo! Cough. I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now please be advised, this is a private properly. Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to. Here at the Biasta Thancred. My serious apologies. May I please have your name? Ah, there it is. Vexus Jaeger. Vexus Jaeger. Ah, here you are. Um, I bid you welcome to the Walking Sands, HQ of the Science of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru. I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. My antecedent is within the scholar. I'm in it in a solar. I shall let her know to expect you. <coughs> Alright, here we are meeting the crew, the gang. Let's go down here to the walk in sense entrance. This will be our HQ for quite a while. Can we see anyone here that we know? These are just some random dudes. I don't know their names. They don't pop a message in my head. Who are you? Just a nobody. I take your Vexa Jager. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Manfilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. Uh, let's get the gold. There we go. That's the whole crew, I know. You are the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. My favorite character right there. He's also cool. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. Hey, Pankrit. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. 
Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea. Nay, the world at large. And we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul. A power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power. And this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I too possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Minfilia. What about the rest of the group? Naturally, your aid will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and a word from me they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied to you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? There are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets. Who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. I sorry. The papers you requested, my lady. Thank you, Tataru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I've taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you're entitled to employ the service of retainers. You will need to consult a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement, but believe me when I say that a retainer will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let this gesture serve as an evidence of our commitment to all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask you that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I'm sure we will agree on, and one which serves to greater goods besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know what our purpose and what we can offer you, I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to the decision, you may tell without fear of censure. A censure. In good faith, I shall trust with you your order's password, which our members use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Please keep it safe. That's a, that's a code from Final Fantasy II. Quest complete. You might have noticed there was a, a queue popping up and we didn't accept it, so that's a penalty. You can have a few penalties before you won't be able to queue for a while. Alright, so they already have names. There's Urian J. 
Papalimo, Ida, Fancred, and Ishtola. And then, of course, Minfilia. And Tataru is outside. Just chillaxing. We science have but one objective to safeguard the future of Riorzia. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it is that you first brought to your Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power was the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer, Vexus. I will go whither the wild room blows. Well, well but I can't pronounce that. I will go whither the wild room blows. The wild rose blooms. There we go. It's the same you can say in Final Fantasy 2 as well. Mephilia is waiting to hear whether or not will pledge your support to the Silence of the Seven Dawn. Well, we have to. Don't have an option. I take it you will help us. Of course. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. I already did that myself. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? Yes. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelve's Wood. Hello there! Welcome! Okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. I never doubted that you'd come. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yashtola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. Last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Love that dude's voice. Please seek him out whenever you have questions. He's the voice actor of Balfier from Final Fantasy XII. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. There she is, the Lalafel. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Already, she's. Orianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived, but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Son's mineral concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, 
and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. Ifrit, here we go. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. Sure, you got it. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow. All right, speak with Thancred. Hello, Fancret. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery at the spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected, assuming we are correct. It is likely that the, any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of other. Now, since you took out the caravan, our friends of Amalja and Sun's mineral concern have doubtfully securely all over the shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abduction should be our priority. According to the preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the Camp de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us a full cooperation. Alright. Now, I kind of also want to go here for a second. We'll go here. And then we'll go north to this is Camp Drybone. Level up and two combinations. Let's go. That was a good one. So we're now at 27. Yeah, three more to go.
Hello, Bimimu. Welcome to the Sunken Temple of Corn. What remains of it, at least, used to be ancient Baladians as a place to worship the sun goddess Esamei. Much about the temple history remains shrouded in mystery. While we send our research team into the depths, I regret to say that the investigation proceeds at a snail pace, that is, when it proceeds at all. It would seem that the Baladians have rigged the temple with all manner of devious traps and snares to deter temple robbers, no doubt. We have recruited adventurers to assist in disarming the traps, but before warned, many who have entered have yet to return. Should you wish to brave the depths, we would welcome your aid. <coughs> temple of Corn. I wonder if we can already. Yeah, we can. It's quite a jump up. Alright, uh, Camp Dry Bone, I guess we can walk there. Stick to the roads. Got a lot of side quests to do here. Got a few here. Got a few here. Got a few here. Got a few here. Technically that is in our level range, 17. We're just over level a lot. Number three in the roll waiting list. I'm pretty sure there should be some dungeons in between these. It's almost double the level. One of them being this one. What is that, Halatali? Yeah. Hello, Isambard. Hi, I'm Isambard. Had to search for missing folk, I take it? Amphilia sent word that an adventurer fitting your description would be along. She also warned that the wary of Amalja, it seems he, we know who the culprits are, at the very least. Now, I bear no official title at this camp, but the people have come to look to me for leadership. You have my word that I'll do all I can am that I can do. You have my word that I'll do all I can to help see the victims safely returned. Eisenbart at Camp Drybone is seeking help to solve a mystery of missing persons. Let's go right to it then. Infilia, names of Amalja culprits and all this. You seem to do... You seem... You would do well to investigate them first. March harm has been levied on the lands by the Amalja hands. The flames burn when they might, but the light cannot stay in the darkness in all places at all times. There have been brutal murders at the cellars of Church of St. Adama Landama. Innocents wishing no more than to pay the respect to the dead. The poor souls deserve a proper burial. I would see the deed before Mongrel sketched their scent, but I know not if the Amalja still linger. Which is your curator remains for me, friend. You will find them on the eastern road. Twelve willing, you may even come to learn something of the Amalja that we seek in this area. How about the Tusi? The Tusi of Camp Drybo needs someone to fetch some Myotragus Sirleons. Ah, you come here, Grief? See her? Have you lost someone dear? Ah, I see. Simply another adventurer come to our outpost. Well, if that's the case, an adventure for you. What you see, what say you make for the plants to east and carve me up five cuts of cerulean from the Miocris nannies. Pretending the wounded man at the inn who is close to death, we would like nothing more than to give him a 
feast of nice juicy Miotrogus cerleons, which might be his last meal. Once you have all the cerleons, take them directly to Sister Cesaro at the end. Alright. Hey, we got one commendation, I'll take it. Caitlin seeks an adventurer to put down some mongrels. Looking for a bit of work, are we? Well, it just happens, I'm looking for someone to put down some mongrels. Seven of the beasts. The bloody things have nearly overrun the area in the southeast of here. They attack local livestock. Odd that moves. You know, you needn't show the foul things any mercy. Alright. Got leather mates here, let's pick them up as well. Poponagu. Good evening to you, adventurer. I'm Poponagu, the representative of the Adventurers Guild. I have a member of fine guild levies in my possession, which I will gladly allow you to undertake if you prove yourself sufficiently capable, that is. You see, protocol dictates that the administrator of a trial guild levy until you complete it. I can grant you no more. How about this task? Review the details and tell me if you're up for a challenge. Sure. Very good. Yo, JP Gaming, welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, we're progressing quite nicely, I'd say. So, um, the law one. Let's initiate. Wait, not yet. I guess we could. Normally you need to kill the enemies, but if you're just quick enough, you can just keep beckoning him and he will follow you. It's currently at 62%. Ok, 
you'll see the percentage here. We're at 75, 79, 82. There we go. And then the rest just despawns. Easy peasy. Now we don't want to teleport. Not this time. We're progressing quite nicely, JP, in the story. Right now we got some side quests coming up, quite a few of them. Well, I'm also queuing for these dungeons in between. Well, guild tests, not dungeons. Because we're trying to farm some accommodations. I've got 28 right now, my goal is 30. At least for today. This is the main quest, so let's try to do this one for a sec. But yeah, we're quite a bit more powerful than we should at this point. No, I'm not in a guild yet. I was gonna try and make one. But I forgot how to. Do you remember how to make a guild in this game? Because I just want to make a small guild. Maybe for my viewers. Or maybe just for me and my girlfriend. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Anyone that would like to join, maybe. Wait, why did it turn off? Pretty sure I had my iron wheel on. Just farming some accommodations, I just want two more. Then we have 30 for today, which is more than enough. There we go, we got three, I'll take that. That's the, that's the best you can get, that's all three of them. And let's queue for the other dungeon. Oh, I can't. Wait, clear selection. Wait, how? Ah, oh, I need to be level 35, that's what I was wondering. It's like, can I already enter the Temple of Sun Quarn? Aren't I too low for that? I am way too high level for this area. At least it makes the side quest go quicker. Can you check for me, JP Gaming? How do I create a guild in this game? 
Otherwise, I have to do it once I'm offline. I don't remember. I know I did it in the past several times, but it's been so long ago, I have no clue at this point. I thought it was a link shell, but I don't think it's a link shell. I think the link shell is just for talking. I don't mean the I don't mean the, the immortal flames, etc. No, I mean an actual guild. A free company, I believe it's called. Turn in those quests. We got quite a few here. It's good to see you return. Were you able to secure the remains of our fallen? Yes, I was. With the bodies given back to the earth, the soul will fight their way across the other side. You've done a noble deed this day. I thank you. Now then, what of the Amalja? Did you see any? Surely such massive monstrosities as they cannot conceal their presence, much less taking their quarry of unawares. Ah, so there were Amalja remaining after all. I fear this much. A part of the lowborn disappearing is all but confirmed, but I sense there's more than this to meet the eye. The Kirchner Amalja raiding party would not account for people going missing in these kind of numbers. The total is too great, and the question is... The question's too many. It would not surprise me if the last to learn of another hand in this. But whose? Countless travelers pass through the dire bone every day, and even if we were among them, how would we be how would we best discover who may be implicit in these vanishings? Isn't Bart aims to turn his investigation to the common folk? What say we turn our eye to the common folk themselves? Maybe among them that we find the reason for these vanishing? Twelve forbid it to be so. This is a merchant by the name of Ungust, who was born here in Drybone and grew up in a Golden Bazaar. A rough character, but he knows the people here better than anyone else. My wager is yet again, quaffling away the day's earnings here. I'll write a note for you to show him, else he's not likely to speak to you. Hey Zilzaru, please lower your voice. What business brings you? I got five Surleons. Mastrogrius Surleons, I take it Tutuzzi has sent you. Thank you for your effort, my friend. But I fear you are too late. The man for whom these stakes were meant succumbed to his wounds just moments ago. Pray do not despair. He feasts with fall now. And fall has seen to the good. Wait. And fall has seen the good in you to this day. Alright. Caitlin first. So found on this plate by seven fewer mongrels, is it? Excellent. I lost my love to a pack of mongrels three years past. We were to be wet, they tore them apart. When we finally chased them off, my love was in seven pieces. Since then, I've asked every adventure I see pass through here to slay seven of the beasts. My vengeance is unceasing, but I can spare just one other bride to be the suffering I have known, then it was all been worth it. There we go. It's a harsh world out here. To Tootsie. Dad, is he? <sighs> you did a good thing, friend. No use fretting over order what thing this pass. What's matter is that they do pass, and nothing that passes goes unseen by the gods. There's a graveyard just near Drybone. A lot of folk bring their dead and dying this far. Many just dump them there to spare themselves the trouble and cost of a burial. The poor soul, at least, had family that rushed to his sight. Count him lucky for that. It was just his time to heed a false call. Best to let it go and move on. 
There's business what needs doing. Plots, graves, embalming, tombstones, nothing in life is free, not even in death. Back for more, are you? Good. Now riddle me this. In a camp such as ours, so close to a graveyard, what do you think sells faster than we can stock? Aye. Flowers. To the east of here lies the remains of an enormous goblin. So many plants sprout around it, you would think you'd find the black shroud in the middle of Thamelon. Some say the Gubu came down here from the mountains at the time of the calamity and carried with him the seeds that became all those plants. But then, all I'm really after is three sprigs of Elphic Lavender. Seems simple enough, right? Sure. Popanagu, let's turn his quests in. I see the desert heat wasn't too much for you. Here's your reward, so you don't spend it all at the pub. And with that, you've fulfilled the requirements. You're free to protect my guilt levies at will. There's always work to be done here, Camp Tribo. Whether you're, uh, whatever your talent, I have no doubt you will find someone in need and willing to pay. Alright. Um... Let's do the main quest for now. Ungust. Oh, it's this dude. Well, gods be damned. You're the bloody adventurer threatened me back in Ulda. What in the seven hells do you want with me now? I want your cooperation, Isambard. Or Ungust, I mean. Dear friend, missing people, please help. Yours, Isambard. Foreground, you're as wary as they come. You turn tail if you run so much as past wind nearby. Play them all the fools and coax some hard labor out of them, I did. If anything, they're even more timid than before. What with all the disappearances? You can go talk to them yourself if you don't believe me. We got a hungry beggar here. Please, sir, just leave me be. Devious dialect. Nothing to say about this. Tall, take, who, or whatever's been feeding all of us low folk. Petrified Pauper. What? What do you want from me? I don't know anything, I swear. Please don't kill me. Just as I told you, wasn't it? A whole lot of them terrified. There have been talk of people getting abducted, but if you ask me to simply up and move to a better place, this place isn't exactly Costa del Sol, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? I mean, a lot of people dying, I guess that's pretty bad. I've seen worse places than this, though. Welcome back, Vextus. If you learned odd of import, I see. I suppose you've expected as much of Ungust. Well, another thought occurred to me in your absence. The common folk are nothing if not fervent in their religious belief. Perhaps if they speak freely to their gods, then a clergy may know something of use. Isambard would like you to learn what you can from the clergy. If we would know what the common folk speak of to, of, to their gods, we've no better place to ask than the church of St. Adama Landarma. It is a small and humble church found in the northwest of here. So long as you had it there, might I ask you to deliver this embalmed corpse? A morbid request, I grant you, but it must be born to burial. I trust no one more than I see you do it. So you got a man named Marquise. He tends to graves of the lipyard. He will tell you where the body is to be interred. Alright. Now let's do this quest first. The circle of life. Should be a quest we can accept there as well, isn't there? Yes, I knew it. That's a big boy. I like this place. He was right. There's like a little oasis here full of flowers because of the 
the king gobble this here. There's the gobble. Despair's movement of plants sprouting around the fallen gobu. By the gods, that life has sprouted here. I've never seen anything like it. How could this be? Perhaps it was. Oh, hello there. Um, you must forgive me. I was just admiring the plants taking root about this gobu carcass. And well, I suppose I forgot myself in a moment. Truly, have you ever seen such lovely flowers? I would wager that even the wealthiest Uldan could claim to have, lies, to have laid eyes on their like before. Please, a favor, I beg of you. Do not let these beauties out of my sight. There are soil sparks and the plants withering. Would you fetch me some muddy spring water from the pond to the west? Sure. Since we're here now anyway. What is this quest level though? 17. Number two in the roll waiting list, all right. We got braised pipira. Fresh pipira braised with creamy butter and chanterelle mushrooms. Sounds pretty good. Uh, there we go. Yo, Jasper. Please tell me you've got underwater. It would be traversed if you lost this phenomenon. Sure. Perfect. This will quench the roots first nicely. But I fear that is not all I must ask. Petals and stems are covered with Valkyn Axe. Should they hatch, the larvae will devour every last leaf, petal and stem. Please, you must remove any axe that you find. Where's the last one? Here it is. Well done, yet again, my friend. I dare say we have stayed another disaster. But our job is not finished. Surfeit clouds still lurk among the undergrowth. If left unchecked, they will undoubtedly invest the plants in their eggs once more. Here, this steam brew is sure to bring the beast out of their hiding. Pour it over any thick bramble you see and slay what come ever comes forth. express my gratitude. Through your efforts, this exceptional bit of greenery will enjoy many more vibrant days. As a botanist from Gridania, I've had the opportunity to study the plant's realm over, yet I cannot claim to have seen such fender before. I am convinced that we see before us a sprouted from this gobu's death. There is certain beauty to all, no? A remarkable discovery. I cannot wait to finish up my research and take word back to the guildmaster Fufusha. Which we know, because we're a botanist ourselves, even though we haven't leveled it yet. Like I said, there's quite a few quests to be done here. I'm now number one in the rating list, it's about time. We have most of the guild tests by now, I think. 
Well, there's still four of them we haven't done, because we're too low level. Well, Vexus, have you helped my pretty pussies? Here you go. Ah, gorgeous. Well done, well done. I know that it's not a running gobble carcass, but it makes for the loveliest darn flower I've ever laid eyes on. When it comes to offerings, they say the rarer the flower, the happier they're dead. And Affleck Leavener is nothing but rare. It's nothing but not, if not rare. I'll be saying, I'll be saving these to turn pretty profit when the next burial is held to the lich shard. All right. And the healer left quickly, what the heck? How do these people leave this dungeon so quickly? Well, we got one commendation. Alright, um, that was taken care of. Let's go here. Towards the church. main quest is, as well as a few side quests. There's level 19 side quests here, there's level 24 side quests here. Even though we're already level 33. Guess I'll collect the side quests first. Asmur? Asmur needs an exterminator at the Church of St. Adal Landema. You have troubled yourself to come this way. I wonder if it might not trouble you a bit further. As you well know, we keep a lich shard here. The scent of death decay draws blowfly blow swarms, which is unclean as they are unwelcome. Slay five of these pestilent swarms and the church will be in your debt. Sure. How about you? Sister Ariel of Church St. Adama Landama has hand her hands full of the Order's work. Be welcome to the Church of St. Adama Landama. I am Sister Ariel. I gather you are on... You are on no pilgrimage. You look to be an adventurer. If so, might I impose on you to help tent the lich shard while you are here with us? These graves have here far outnumber who can wait. The graves here far outnumber we who can keep, who keep them. Alone, we cannot possibly do all that needs to be done. Would you be? Would you see to the gathering of all six offerings currently laying on about the outside? I made a note of at least six during my last round throughout the yard. Should have picked them up while you're there then. Hello, Marquise. I am Marquise, yes. A body? Of course. They... There have been so many bodies of late. 
I apologize, sir. We seek a place of burial, then there's an empty grave atop the ridge. Take the path and lay him there to rest. He's getting the best spot. slow. I was trying to cast to kill it, but I already killed it before he had a chance. Right, the main quests. Uh, his grave should be up here. Like I said, one of the best spots. Wait, where is it? Nani. Up there. That's a pretty good spot, right? I was I was gonna say, shouldn't we bury him? <laughs> Just lay him there. Hello, Marquise. I buried the corpse. May they all walk in false realm. What? Missing people? I, I'm afraid I cannot help you. But maybe Sister Orson can. She's been kind to me. Everyone. Everyone has been so kind. I don't know why though. I... Pardon me. You will find Sister Orson within the church walls. Let's turn in the side quests first. Ariel. Were you able to get their old offerings? Here they are. Thank you. Would that there were not else to be done. I must see the collecting withered faces, urns, and ewers before long. The dead sleep soundest in a tidy grave. I have no shortage of work or offer. Should you take care of it, speak to me again whenever, whensoever you feel so compelled. There you go. Stereo's work for a willing adventurer once more. So you wish to honor the dead once more? Excellent. Making offerings of these Nimila lilies at some of the simpler graves in the late charts. The poor souls died alone, you see, with no one left to grieve for them. There are five such graves scattered about the lit shard that I would have you tend to. And remember, friend, mind your surroundings and pray to proper respect with each bundle of lilies. You're all they have. That's kind of sad, isn't it? Thank you, friend. And if swarms were to spread their pestilence at the church unchecked before long, we would no need to mourn the morning. For the time being, at least, the grieving can pray in peace for the dead to cross over safely. Fall bless you. All right, we got more side quests, this guy. Edward. Edward wants you to make a tombstone for his late sister. You're one of them venturing folk, ain't you? Be much obliged for a little help to lay... I'd like to make a tombstone for my kid sister, but past, you see. But I ain't got the guild to get it done. Yeah, there's nice rocks for taking ways from here, but I ain't old enough to fend off no wild beast or such. I was hoping for a bit of a clout marble. She really would like that. Crops right out of the ground to the east here, they say. If you can find a bit and see it to Brother S. Moore. Me and my sister would be ever so grateful. Alright, we'll do that. Let's talk to Orson here. I hear you've done such service for burying a fallen soul. Please accept her gratitude and extend it to Isambard when next you see him. Hmm, you seek knowledge of missing people dry bone, in, dry bone inhabitants. It is true, I'm closer to the people than any of the other order. I can find in them, and they in me. When they speak to, the key, to their keeper, Fall, I am the medium through which they do. Should I learn anything? Pertinent, I will be able to share the information with you. 
I only wish Marquise would be more helpful in the matter. I pray he did nothing to offend you. He saw terrible things during the calamity. His scars run deep. Indeed, he seems to know to prefer the company of the dead over the living. While tragic, I fear such behavior ill befits the church. I received word not too long ago that one of the recent visitors, a man called Thancred, I believe, took offense at his conduct. I must have words with Marquise and soon. Alright, so we got a lot of side stuff here. Simple grave. Let's place some of the lilies. I'll do a guild test every time I finish one main quest. So we can farm a bit of accommodation without it bothering too much. I mean, a simple grave. In, in what country is this a simple grave? This looks like if you had to make this in real life, it'd be pretty expensive, I can tell you that. A lot of them got rumbled over though, like these. This one's a bit more simpler. Why would I have to lay them there and sell there? That one. Sorry for stepping on the tombstone. I needed a little bit of extra height to jump that fence. Honoring the dead. slap of clout marble. Let's return those to the church and then we'll go back to Drybone and then we'll probably be forced up here. Now once that is done I think we'll be forced down... no actually up here as well yeah. But I'll be doing those first before I do that. Temperature is rising crazily right now in the Netherlands. I'm not sure what temperature it is right now, but I reckon it's around 20. That's what it feels like, at least. Dude, get your chocobo out of the church, man. Have your business here again, friend. Yes, I got this cloud marble. Cloud marble? To make it into the tombstone for Edward's sister. That boy is nothing but trouble. I wish I could do it to convince him not to go looking for a stone on his own. Still, I suppose it cannot be helped, and losing a loved one is never easy. Thank you for your part in this. I will see the marbles used for Edward's wishes. Ariel? Once more you have my thanks. No doubt the souls of the departed can take some small comfort in the case you have shown their graves. In days gone, the Lichard was a small, humble plot. But then all changed after the calamity. That grew in number, and so the yard grew with them. It is still simple, despite its size, of course. If that, self, if that self same simplicity that keeps it from becoming more of a priority for the order, we can ill afford to assign adequate numbers to its keeping, just as we cannot charge the poor buried or be buried. Yet as that does not stop the man no, yet that does not stop the many who come calling to see their dead put to the rest here. Those few of us who tend to the yard haven't had the time to see the offerings or play piety demands. The simplest grave you visited belonged to those who died alone. Let us pray the sweet fragrance you delivered grants some, some mediocre of relief from the lonely solitude, if even for a short while. 
Hello, Edward. Gods, your venture sure are kind folk. Now all I need is a coin for the funeral. I'm gonna stay here on the church for a bit and help out. Wouldn't be right to be leaving everything up to someone else. It'll mean more to my sis if I do what I can on my own. Brother is more and sister Ariel are good folk too. They say I don't need to girl did they they say I don't need the gill to bury my sister here, but I know how it works. I'll take the coin to send her over to Fells proper. Let's get high potions. Alright, so those are all the quests done inside the church. Going back to Drybone for a proper burial. Probably go with the golds because I don't need this. Thank you, Vexus. A burial is no easy thing, even when the departed is a stranger. We're able to learn all of the missing common folk. You've been keeping yourself rather busy of late, haven't you, Vexus? Hi, Fankrit. A pleasure, my dear Arzenbart, the famous Fankrit. I share a passion with you and your mutual friend here for learning what has become of these missing persons and why. I too speak, spoke with Ungust, more times than I care to count. There seemed to be some trust of this notion of the common folk's Speaking their secrets only to those in service of the gods. Prostration, prayer, penance, abject deeds done behind closed doors, always from prying eyes. Who better to take the pious unawares that she takes who's that she who takes confession, the good sister Orson herself. Orson, she wouldn't. She couldn't. Even the most beautiful roses have thorns, my friend. It would be wise to keep an eye on this rose. Still, the Lich Keeper Marquis. I'd swear to the Twelve I've seen that face elsewhere before. Alright, let's take the gold. And we'll go into her house. Alright, Eason Bard. He's got oh, unlocked a few new... Oh, jeez. Every time I think I'm done, more of these things pop up. <laughs> Eason Bard is concerned about the questions surrounding Sister Orson's integrity. Sister Orson, it cannot be. Though she is, won't... Though she is, won't to travel to the Golden Bazaar on her own, and it's not uncommon to see her speaking to children. But no, could not be she, could it? Hmm. I grow wary of this suspicion. I know there's one child in particular that she's fond of. Pray see got the boy Vexus, and see if you cannot glean something from her about Orson's activities. Oh, we got a Caitlin here again. Caitlin of Camp Drybone looks like a woman in need of meat. It's you again. What impeccable timing. Oh, you needn't worry. I'm not going to ask you to put down any more mongrels on my dead fiancé's behalf. My fiancé survived by a... My fiancé is survived by a brother, though. He puts up the golden bazaar and he's asked that I bring him a load of tuko tuko meat. I'd see to it myself, but as you will know, I must stay here to send adventurers on mongrel hunts until every last one of the bloody beasts in Eorzea is dead. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, would you care to fell some tuko tukos and obtain five chunks of their meat? Once you have enough, please deliver them to my late fiancé's brother, Banagar, at the Golden Bazaar. Sure. Because we're going to need to go there anyway. We finished the main quest, one of them, so we can do another routine. Got to keep a structured schedule on what I want to do in this game. There's so much to do, you can easily get lost. Right now we got 32 combinations. Which is a lot, considering we're only level 33. So yeah, even though the bonus experience from this ring does no longer work, the status, it's like plus 15 status, is pretty good. Already replaced the uh, feather on our head. Which gave us another experience boost, this one. But it no longer works and there's no status on them, so that's why we replaced them. The last one, that's currently the only one that's still in effect, is our earrings. Which also has a tremendous amount of experience boost, as well as um, pretty good status. That's 27 status right there. So we need Tuko Tuko, we need five. So 
It's one of the easier ones, alright? We're not doing it for the experience, we're not doing it for the gold. The only reason we're doing these is for combinations, really. It's by far the easiest and quickest way to get them. You can, give, you can get combinations from a dungeon, but a dungeon takes like, what, 10 to 15 minutes? And these guild has to take, what, 10 to 15 seconds? You can get a single combination. Vinegar. Where's the damn Tukutuku meat I asked Caitlin to bring? It won't be long before my patrons arrive. Here you go, sir. Caitlin has sent you? Excellent. This is more than enough Tukutuku meat. So miners came here to stay at the bazaar while they present the area for mithril deposits. They value a quantity over quality, so I'll be serving them a feast of this piss poor meat. By the by, please don't tell me Caitlin is still standing on the same spot dry bones, sending adventurers on to slay mongrels. <laughs> then I bones. <laughs> I've told her a number of times, mongrel pelts or heads will bring my brother back to us. I've moved on with my life, and it's best she did the same. Right, so we got new rings, let's see. This might potentially be better. Strength, fertility, and crit compared to... Yeah, this is better. Let's go with this ring. There we go. Benegar. Benegar of the Golden Bazaar needs help finding help. How in the hellscape are you wondering about what ought to do? There's opportunity here at the Golden Bazaar, and there hasn't been in years. I speak of the massive mithril deposit, of course. The miners have fed before are only the beginning. More and more of them will come flock here in the coming week. Mark my words. Until now, we've been nothing more than a small settlement. But now the sky's the limit. An in for the mithril miners to come to would be worth a fortune. Mark my words. And I mean the fortune... And that, and I mean for that fortune to be mine. The problem I've had here is well, I need bodies to help me build the inn, but I can't seem to find anyone who are willing. I've drawn up the hiring notice, hoping they might help. Would you be mindful to get me started by posting five of them in the prime locations? Sure. How about Lululo? Lululo. I thought miners were heart and rugged souls, so I have no idea they could be so craven. If you look like someone who can handle himself, care to kill some of these pests for Lala Felon Lady. I'm supposed to be leading a dig among the 
Ruins east of here for mithril deposits, but once the miners of Heart saw the Vendralis imps in the area, they all turned till and fled. Slay some of the bloody buggers for me, would you? Four dead imps should keep the others away and put the miners' minds at ease. Alright, first things first. Another person is doing this quest. What level is he? Level 26. We're building a small village here. At least they have the gates already installed. Let's take out those imps. Right, got a few updates here. Did you know? Your adventurers never cease to prove your worth. Now I can get those cowardly miners back to digging. The only thing they're good for are digging. The mithril veins are still no more than rumors, but if every miner flees at the slight, the sight of danger, we'll never know for sure. I may need to hire you on a regular basis to call these bloody imps. I fear it will be quite a while yet before any proper mining can be done. Seems at twelve, they're intent on plaguing me all days. Before we with imps, and now with earth sprites. I ordered a haul of digging tools from a merchant to the north. He was headed down for the black shroud when the earth sprites overtook him. Luckily, he was able to escape the camp drive with his life. I need you to make the road safe, friend. Put down three of these earth sprites to keep the others at bay and ease the minds of any traveling merchants. Once the deed is done, find the merchant Raramaki at Camp Drybone and tell him to bring this haul to the rest of the way here. Banagar. You posted all five? You're 12 cent, but I truly don't want to let this chance pass by. Here, take five more hiring notices and see them straight to hand out whoever folks you see loitering about. Uh, I'm bored of my gourd. There's no work to be had in this godforsaken place. Here's a hiring notice. Benegar's looking for able bodies, is he? I've done some woodworking in my day. Might as well... Might be as he'll have some use for me. Alright. That's one, I guess. No, I don't have any moment to talk about that. Wait, what's this then? <clears throat> Hiring hands to build a new inn. Well, that's bloody welcome news. I came here after hearing there might be mithril in these parts, but the inn's all full and I've been living out in a tent. Suppose I could lend help building inns? Do I start digging mines? That's who. Not sure if she's any good. What can you, what can you do, sir? Ma'am, I mean. What is it? Can you see I'm busy? 
Benicar needs work that he's done, does he? So, seeing more miners in the bazaar of late, I reckon it got something to do with it. Rumor has it there's Mithra in the ground around here. Wonder if there's any truth to it. Well, I won't know. I don't know actually if there is. Mithril's probably worth some good chunk. Loose tongue, madam. What is this now? Letters. Never learnt them. Can't you just read it to me? Nope. Here it is. Good luck. Benegar's building a new inn? No doubt to accommodate all new people coming to the bazaar in recent days. Taking advantage of the new food traffic is a right fine idea. Hmm. I have no intention to, of helping Benegar, of course. But perhaps there's even greater profit to be had in stocking up the food stores. We got a burly miner over here. Wait, what did he say? You have work? Yes, I do. Here we go. Carpenters, thank the gods I was afraid there'd be nothing but mining jobs here. It's my vocation to be sure, but a man needs some vari variety now. And then, I'll go have myself a work with a Benegar fellow. Got a young comfort urchin. Please help Sister Urchin. She went all the way on her own and hasn't come back. She always reads to me right here about fall and the order and the other side. I told her I lost my shiny thing and she went looking for it. What if the monsters outside heard her? Please find her. We will. Hang on. Well done, Vexus. Thanks to you, I had a feeling I'll have a hand. I need to see my inbuilt. I was in a dark place about my brother died, but now I'm going to breathe life back into the bazaar. A new quest. Benegar has asked another test that needs to be done. There's work to be done, Vexus. You haven't, let me, let me, you haven't let me down so far. Don't start now. A miner recently comes from Amoja's son, wants a sample of stone from the eastern ruins. I have a mind to give him five slabs of cloud marble from the invisible city, and I need you to get it done. Showing them these will nigh guarantee continued influx of miners to the bazaar. Alright, so there's quite a few quests here. We cleared up all the quests in Drybone for now. We cleared all the quests in the church. We cleared all the quests... Well, we're doing the quests in the, so the Golden Bazaar now. Orson. from the church. Thank God unless you arrived when you did. It seems my gratitude is yours yet again. I spoke with a child, yes? I was able to find this lost trinket. Is there a ring given to him by his mother before she passed? I will see it safely back to him. Alright. We'll go back to you in a second. There's Mithra in them Tar Hills. Probably won't need to fight any of these because we're high level, so we're not aggroing them. I'm double their level almost. What is that place called? The Invisible City. I like how the maps are made in this game. There's a lot of things to see. Everywhere you look, there's things of interest.
So what are our rewards? Gold and XP, gold and XP, and legs, which are better, so we'll take the four bronze pieces. So almost got 99 stack of uh, bronze gill pieces. Let's talk to Raramaki. You fought off the sprites? God bless you for that, stranger. Lola will have her tools. I fed her out of fear. I fled here out of fear for my life, but I've come to regret that. Have you taken a look about? There are bodies littering the ground. Dead bodies. No desire to stay here any longer than I must. Once I see to my birds fit for travel, I'll be making sh I'll be making for the Golden Bazaar. It's not much better there either, buddy. But this a bard. Since the Orson was attacked by the outside of the, outside the Golden Bazaar, God's for fun. I will secure the room at the inn for her, should it require any rest. Searching for the memento of orphans and risking her own well-being in the doing, no less. Certainly not the dastardly deeds Fancret would have us believe. Alright, Isambard, new quests. Isambard seems to have a message for me from Fancret. I'm well glad I reserved that inn room for Sister Orson. It seems she received greater injuries from her attackers than she initially let on. Thankfully, she's expected to make a full recovery. Now on the other matter at hand, Fenkrook came looking for you once more. He left word that he will be waiting at the Amalja encampment to the southeast. I pray the two of you are able to uncover some evidence regarding these disappearances. So he's going there, but I'm going north first. I might as well do these first as well. Take care of all the side quests in this area. Marauder. So we did the main quest again, so we can do a guild hest. So like I said, we'll do one roulette for every main quest we clear. So far I've only got two titles, the heart of the party and a gambler. Don't want to be known for a gambler. I'll take the heart of the party. So there's the immortal flames and there's the brass blades. But the brass blades are more kind of like mercenaries, if you will. They are mainly for hire, or they are hired by uh, the syndicate. So they're not very trustworthy. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. Or at least the ones we interact with aren't. Hello, Benagar. Have you forgotten about the Clark Mobile samples I need Vexus? Nope, I got them right here. So this is Clark Mobile I've seen so much about. God looks at the glimmer in the stone. I must admit I've never seen it for myself. I only ever tell of it. I see now why Mithril rumors have risen. Now you listen to me, you bloody rock. The Golden Bazaar is counting on you. If this talk of Mithril turns out to be a farce, I swear by the twelve, I'll dig up every last pebble of you myself, grind you to powder and sell you to the chokeable stables to sop up piss and runny shit. Hmm, <laughs> yes, well, sorry about that. So it's ever since the war Saul wrote to Alamigo cut off, the bazaar has fallen on tough times. It's a waypoint choked up from its from its way. It's now little more than a point. But it will not be so. I'm going to make the Golden Bazaar golden once more. From here I'll become one of the richest men in Fenelon. And I'll finally be able to give Caitlyn the life those mongrels stole from her. She held on to the memory of her brother for so long, she became blind to the people who care for her. People like, well, uh, I don't suppose she could keep that last bit from Caitlyn, could you? I will. No more quests to be had here? Nope, okay, we're done here. Let's take this skill test. Let's make our way to Highbridge. That's a bit weird, right? Like, uh, she fell in love, she married her brother, the brother died, and now this other guy's in love with her? Don't tell me she's going to start a relationship with her brother.
That was quite a quick one. We got another accommodation, I'll take it. Alright, making our way to the high bridge once more. Yeah, successfully complete the fate. Attack on high bridge, act 3, with the highest rating possible. That's the... That one. Pretty sure that one starts that one. My girlfriend wants to be a healer. So if she's the healer and I'm the tank, we can do that together, no problem. Solo? Might be hard. Might be real hard. Maybe with a healing chocobo. How many quests are there? Is there three or four? It's three, I think. Gogoshu. Researcher Gogoshu could use adventurous assistance in dispatching some butters and buzzards. We've been dispatched by the Order of Nathal to conduct a thorough investigation of these runes. We've only begun to scratch the surface, yet it's already clear that these countless untold secrets from the age of Balatlia... Balatlia? Secrets which remain hidden forever if something is not done about those accursed buzzards. Ever since they began nesting across the Chesham, we spent more hours wiping their droppings over our tomes than doing research of any sort. I ask you to eradicate these entire species. The, bu the buzzard is a clever bird, slay four or so, and I suspect the rest of the flock will find somewhere else to roost. got Claudine here. The researcher Claudine could use an adventurous assistance in suspecting some butters and birds. More birds. Do not look down, Claudine. You must not. You will not. You cannot look. Oh. By the twelve, my good man, you frightened me and half to death. But you must forgive me. I'm a bit restless of late. With those winged nightmares swooping in from each and every direction, pecking and poking and pricking at me, I might as well pick up my instruments and go home. I won't be getting any answer research done. If, however, a kind of adventurer like yourself were used to, were used, were to use these scarecrows to drive the birds away, it would be another story. What do you say? Sure. We'll do that. We got this guy. I think that's the bolt guy that needed some hair medicine. Helmhart. Helmhart of the Highbridge could use an adventurous assistance with a hair-raising problem. I knew it. Yes. Yes, you, adventurer. I need you to fetch three bottles of Furble blood and do so with all haste. Where do I find verbal blood, you ask? Why from furbles, of course. Now hurry, it's a matter of life and death. Right, so the last the last bits of side quest here. Buzz off birds.
That's another one done. There we go. Now we gotta place those uh, scarecrows here. For those who have been watching, this is where we did the gladiator level 30 quest with Eldis. Made Scarecrow. This was a lost opportunity, man, for them. They should have made a Scarecrow that looks like Phoebe. Or the Black Mages from Final Fantasy IX. <laughs> yeah, they don't look like it. I know they had them in uh, Final Fantasy 16. Okay, we got one more, but I think that one is on top of us. Finally focus on the main quest once these are done. I know this one has a follow-up, I believe. One of these two. This one, the guy with the hair. Claudine, how are you doing? Oh no. Not luck. Oh, you've seen the birds, have you? Splendid work, friend. Now head back down and return my research. Eh, worry not, I'll be along any moment now. Be on your way. You're asking me to do what? Are you alright in the head? So these are definitely better boots. But it's only a very small upgrade. Question is, should I go with these boots or should I take the gold? What is the gold? One silver piece. I'll take the boots. Never mind. Claudia needs to secure additional resources for his research. His research? Okay. Ah, greetings. Thanks to you, Fred. My research has finally gotten up the ground. So many discoveries to be made. And ancient wonders to be restored. And yet, I only have these two hands which work with which work to do my work. If only I could convince the order of potential significance of my work, perhaps they would be willing to dispatch aid. I've heard a report of my findings thus far. Might you be so kind to deliver it to Kyo Kyozo at false respite? Where's that? Oh, it's there. Kugoshu. Free of savage pecking and buzzard droppings at last. I cannot thank you enough, friend. When I make next historic discovery, you may take pride in knowing that you helped make it possible. I guess we could do with that. A bit of new gear. Goes a long way in this game. Still looks pretty decent. How about if I put my helm on now? Go, go, Power Ranger. <laughs> I don't like these helmets. Hide it. Life of that situation. Well, have you brought the verbal blood I asked for? If so, then hand it over quickly. Here you go. At long last, my friend, your gut sent. Now, how did it go? Oh, yes. Stir twice, a dash of spittle, shake thrice. More, and voila. Well, what are you waiting for, friend? Grab yourself a dollop and start spreading my skull. Cries out for sucker. Oh, and don't try not to miss a spot. Doosh. Oh, ah. Ooh. Mida tingles. I can already feel my pores opening. In no time at all, I have a flock. Flowing locks of full long. Can't thank you enough, friend. With what the sun beating down the way it does in these parts? A ball plate of potentially fatal affliction. <laughs> so we got potion.
Yo, Blake Morris, do you play again for Warhammer Dark Omen? Yeah, I've been playing some Warhammer Dark Omen lately. Uh, not this week. This week I've been doing some Pokemon as well as doing Final Fantasy XIV. But I do, I will come back to playing some Warhammer Dark Omen because I do intend to play a few more runs. I played like two playthroughs, I think, about two weeks ago. I'm not doing full-time Warhammer Dark Omen, but every now and then I drop by. Might try and do some of those uh, expansions or what? What is that? Not expansions. They're called uh, add-ons, mods, if you will. Let's take the bronze piece. But yeah, I, I plan on doing some more of those because I do enjoy Dark Omen. Thanks, man. But you do full battles and magic items? Uh, what do you mean with full battles, exactly? Like, I always try to get all the magic items. And I always try... Usually when I do a playthrough, I try to get as much battles in as possible. If you watched my original playthrough of Dark Omen, you see I always take on any mission I can. As much as I can. To get the max battles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do. My latest one, I... My latest playthrough, I had my viewer's choice which options I take. But usually I stay in fight, yeah. The only time I don't stay in fight is the one with the three man. The three man, uh, because if you stay in fight, you don't get the option to get the dragon fire helmet. So that was usually the only fight I skip. Alright, appreciate it. There should be plenty of content on Warhammer Dark Omen and Warhammer Shadow of the Horned Red on my channel. So if you're interested, there's plenty of plenty of stuff to watch. I do live stream it as well from time to time. Right now I'm fully invested in Final Fantasy XIV, which is a game I've always been wanting to stream. Like for years, even before starting my uh, YouTube channel. But never found the people to play it with. And right now I've got my girlfriend to play it with me. But that will be on a different character. Vexus Jaeger is my single player character, or yeah, single player, and Galva Jaeger will be the one I will play together with her. Welcome, adventurer. May you find respite from your hardships. Here we go. You bring a report from Claudina Highbridge. A most welcome surprise indeed. I was prepared to wait months before that young one made any significant progress. What's this? The runes date back later than Baldean era. A house, and house the final resting place of Lala Futo for himself. The historical implications of this research are beyond anything the Order had imagined. I must arrange for additional researchers and supplies to be sent to Highbridge immediately. Sister Kyokyozo at the Order of Nafal seeks an adventurer to slay creatures who are scaring away potential pilgrims to false respite. Adventurers, merchants, travelers. False respite is always open to those who seek a momentary reprieve from the hardships of the road. In the past, we welcomed the countless multitudes through these doors. Sadly, the growing presence of hostile beast tribes and savage creatures now deter many from making the pilgrimage. A shame, is it not? Perhaps you could come to our aid. The most fearsome of the local fauna is the Axe Peak. We are to defend the flock, say by four birds or so. I do believe these halls will be more, far more approachable. Appreciate it for joining the channel, Blake. But yeah, Warhammer Dark Omen is something I come back to on a regular basis. So, uh, there should be plenty of content on my channel. And if you want to join live, well, the thing is, is that I don't have set schedules yet. So what I usually tell people is to hit the notification bell. And you'll see when I'll be online. I think I got about 40 videos at least from Dark Omen. Some are quite small, some are quite large. There's streams of uh, Iron Man mode as well. They are probably my most viewed videos of my channel. 
Dark Omen. Ah, you mean Dark Omen? Or are you talking to about Final Fantasy XIV right now? I love uh, Dark Omen as well. I'm still hoping to make a new game out of it. You know, with all the attention that old Warhammer's gotten now with the new tabletop? Who knows? Who knows? We might get to see something similar. My adventurer friend, a traveling merchant and his family just walked through the doors out not a moment ago. Each encounter is a blessing. A blessing that would not have come to pass if... Had those fearsome fowl continue to run rampant outside our halls. For this, I thank you. Sister Kyokusho seeks adventures to deliver a missive to Highbridge. I'm loath to trouble you again, but you've proven yourself a friend to the Order. I have an urgent missive to be delivered to Hibaru of Highbridge. Or to be precise, a petition. The Order would entreat Highwind Skyways to establish a regular flights between Highbridge and Ulla. Such flight would greatly ease the travel of pilgrims of false respite, not to mention stimulate commerce in the area. It's for a later reason that we believe he borrow and his fellow merchants will lend us their support. Go now, and may the traders watch over your journey. So we got new dice, as well as some skins, it seems. Animal hides. It is there is a, the, there's a link in my YouTube channel to see how you can get the game running. I believe it's the one with the mod packs, explore the mod packs. I believe that's what it's called, and it shows you to a website where you can get a patch to keep the game running on nowadays computers. It's a little bit hard to install, but if you follow the guide properly, it should be running. I mean, their Discord as well, but their Discord is only a few people. It's like twelve people. And they still play on daily basis, even multiplayer games. Some of them used to stream. Some of them have Let's Plays on their YouTube channel as well. But uh, none of them completed it, I think. Some of them stopped halfway, unfortunately. There's not a lot of Let's Plays on Dark Omen. There's not a lot of Let's Plays on Shadow of the Horn Red either. I might be one of the few people on YouTube that actually has a complete Shadow of the Horn Red run without cheats because that game is hard to run and it's not easy either but i was watching like two or three people play shadow of the horn red and none of them completed it i'm like okay i can't stand this i need to complete the game so i did that was my first recording ever so the quality of audio is pretty bad but a message from sister kyokyozo whatever business could the order have with a common trader like me well i'll be a petition for regular airship service between highbridge and ulda Ha, the idea is so bloody brilliant, I'm right ashamed not to have thought of it myself. Business would simply go through the roof. I'll add my signature and deliver it to Highwind Skyway straight away. And if only someone would deal with these bloody quirk and hybrids would be a trader's paradise. Right, that's all the quests here. Well, I prefer to complete my games, yeah. I mean, sometimes there's so many games and I don't always complete them because I'm jumping to other games. But most of the time I prefer completing my games. If you check my PlayStation profile... Um, if you check out my PlayStation profile, it has like 100... 190? Something along those lines? 190 Platinum Trophies? So I, I, I do, to, to, do try to prefer completing all my games. Same with the way I play MMOs. I'm trying to complete all the side quests before I move on to the main quests. Explore every nook and cranny. There's Fencret. We're gonna have an amazing battle soon. Before we start that battle, I will grab myself a drink. Not yet, though. Still got a little bit left. Ah, there you are, Vexus. So good of you to come. Indeed, I've heard all about good Sister Orson. Isenbot said her wounds were serious, it would seem my suspicion about the poor roads were misplaced. But, false though they were, perhaps my suspicions was not entirely without merit. While I was following Sister Orson near the Golden Bazaar, a band of Amalja caught my eye. I tracked him as far as his encampment, but, well, let us say that I would much prefer to keep my distance and remain here. This, of course, brings me to why I requested you, my dear Vexus. Would you be so kind to take a look inside? So you're asking me to go inside, while well, you do not. Great. 
Very nice of you. I reckon I can just walk in because these guys are so low level they probably won't even trigger me. Yeah, like I said. Normally you have to fight your way in, but... There we go. That was easy. A queer leaflet. There we go. Spaz and true. Nothing to see here. Hello, Fencret. Well, did anything tickle your fancy? Yeah, I got this leaflet here. The leaflet? See the wealth of knowledge to the hands of your children. It looks to be some sort of assembly to provide the poor with work. The lettering through atrocious, is it not? And these bits about Nafal seem somewhat less than studied. I find it hard to believe one among the order brand this. Pray take this to the imp and can dry bone. Let's see what Sister Orson makes of it. So we got three dungeons, the Sunken Temple of Quarn, one more level and we should be able to attempt this one. Is there an item level requirement on this one? It does not. I think, it doesn't say there. I know later dungeons you have item restrictions. You need to be a certain item level in order to join. Which is good to be honest, because if you don't have that item level, you're just gonna be a liability. Can't wait for us to have our mount, which shouldn't be too long from now, I believe. Not this one. This one then. There she is. My savior comes again. To what do I owe the honor? How about this queer leaflet? What is this blasphemous? There are no teaching at all. It was not made by any true brother or sister of the order. Of that I can assure you. Come to think of it, weeks ago the church was plagued by missing garments. Could someone be posing as a priest of the order to deceive the people? Hello, Fancret. <coughs> the plot thickens, Vexus. Corporate corporate pretends to be a priest to lend credence to his deception. There is no doubt an irony in there somewhere. But I suspect we have worthy adversary on our hands. I should consider how to best to handle this. For now, tell Eisenbart what we have learned here. Alright, Blake Mars, thanks for joining. Appreciate that. And uh, yeah, make sure to hit the notification bell in case I go live with Dark Omen. You'll be notified. Probably should be uploading some of my offline videos as well. I got so many offline videos about so many games. Posing as a priest to think. These troubling notions aside, it's gratifying to finally be able to move this investigation forward. Thank you once again, Vextus. I should keep my eyes and ears open, now more than ever. So we got these boots, we got this, let's go with the gold. Is that a gold piece? No, it's a silver piece. Any new quests unlocked? Negative. Isenbart wants you to help identify and apprehend the false priests. We're afraid I've not seen any unusual activity, nor have this at any camp given me cause to doubt them. But unless we can identify the culprit, and soon more innocents will fall victim. Do not despair just yet, my friend. An idea occurs to me. Our, su our, su whoop, our suspect has been posing as a priest, using leaflets bearing false promises to lure them poor. That vexes and me serve like with by by wait that vexes and me serve like with like by posing as impoverished souls in need of succor as i dare to hope say that will yield the answers we seek it will be a dangerous undertaking but you two are more than capable of looking after yourself i'm an extra useless in battle but i can supply the garments for the disguise these old tunics and slops should serve your needs so long as you don't mind the smell and the stains this will serve very well. You have my thanks. Listen, Vexus. So as to lay to a foundation for a little ploy, you must make it widely known that more fragrance have arrived at the camp and are desperate for coin. To this end, if you want to don the old garments Isabard has lent us and beg for work around the camp, before long the false priest should catch wind and approach us.
Erengard. Greetings, good sir. Is there aught I made this issue with? Oh, I don't believe there is. I'm afraid our wares are very expensive. Yep, you should rejoin your fellows out at the pond north of the Sand Gate. Be surprised, lady. that one then. Oh, he's, he's on top, isn't he? Oh, he's there. Alright. i roll this. What is it? God, it's not a gun. Look, being poor doesn't give you the right to pester whoever you like. Why don't you keep your own kind out of that muddy... Bond of yours at Drybone. Wait, isn't this Drybone? I don't refer to this part. Is there people there? Swainhild. Swainhild. I preach the teaching of Azemia, the warden. Hast thou come to partake the honey of her wisdom? Yo, Robin, welcome to the stream, buddy. Playing some more Final Fantasy. The, the uh,. Story's picking up, we're gonna have a massive battle soon. Azamia is the Keeper of Sun and Goddess of Inquiry. All is laid bare beneath the light of her divine countenance. Open thy heart to this light, needy child, and thou shalt want for not till the end of days. That's the one we're looking for, I guess. Got Curl, the Flame Captain. Hmm, and you are? Hmm, another refugee by the looks of it. The mortal flames have neither work nor coin for you, like. Be gone and see if you don't make a nuisance of yourself. People don't really like beggars in this place, do they? Adelston. Hello, Adelston. And I was about to get to the good part. Looking for work, you say? Sorry, but we don't have any openings. Now go out here so I can finish my story. Quite a knack for being a nuisance, Vextus. This camp is a buzz with talking about newly arrived vagrants. Though we were unable to attract the wayward transgressor, we were able to learn that the poor have communed by the pond north of Sandgate, to the east of here. The eyes of the authority do not reach that place. Ran an idea for spiriting away helpless souls? Let us go then and wait for the kindly priest to come and offer us aid and comfort. Needless to say, you'll need to remain in disguise. <laughs> Needless to say, yeah, I already took off my disguise. One second. Let me put it back on. There we go. Don't mind the armor, the armored gloves and boots and short and shield sticking out of my disguise. Or the invisible helmet I'll be wearing. He's cheating. He's flying. Fine morning for catching false priests, wouldn't you say? You look absolutely smashing, Vexus. Positively dressed for the deception. All that's left then is to wait for a quarry to appear. No, it's not the big guy. Oh, you poor unfortunate souls. There's no way for men to live. No way at all. Oh, I know who that is. Who are you? What do you want? Be at ease, child, for I mean you no harm. I'm the priest of Order of the Fall, and I come to offer you succor. The leaflet bears the teaching of Nald. Trust to them, and they will surely set you free from the shackle of penury.
Hmm, a tempting offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. On account of that atrocious performance, you would have made a god's awful murmur, Ungust. I knew it. What? How did you know? You bastards tricked me. Please don't hurt me. I was only doing it to protect my people. Is that so? Do continue. Very well. I'm a man of the Golden Bazaar. Raised there, if not born. Some moons ago, the Amalja raids began. They would appear sudden of sandstorm and plunder a pillage at will. Their defenders couldn't stand against them. Few as they were, everyone lived in fear. I wanted to save my people, but being a merchant was all I knew. So I did the only thing a merchant could. I approached the Amalja in hope of brokering a deal. I'll return for sparing the Golden Bazaar. They made demands. Outrageous ones. Demands? Of what kind, pray tell? First of all, they wanted to schedule for crystal shipments from the Nanawa mines. For this, I bribed one of the workers to leak me for the information. Next, they wanted me to bring them people, so I posed as a priest to lure in the vulnerable and give them over to the Amalja. I... I didn't have a choice. Protecting one's home is a noble thing. Was it a cost of innocence? You could have sought the aid of the immortal flames, yet you did not. I suspect you're not telling me the full story. What made you sell out your own people? Speak. The... Mm, was good. What did you say? The coin was good, I said. I could sell mole meat for a score of lifetimes and not even see a fraction of what the Amalja pay me. You sacrifice innocence so that you could line your own line, line your own pockets. Words filled to express the contempt I feel for you. Spare me the contempt. If you want to blame someone in the mess, the words in, then blame yourselves or the gods. Oh, ah, not you again. Were you the one leaking the immortal flames patrol routes to the enemies as well? Spit it out. No, I know nothing about that, I swear it. At this stage, I'm rather indistinct to believe aught that leaves your mouth. But no matter, there'll be time enough to learn the truth. Yeah, you cry somewhere else. Vexus, be a good man and take the word of these developments to Minvilia, would you? Really? You're wanting me to go all the way back to her Vespers Bay? I shall prize everything I can out of this filth. The abductees are still somewhere out there. Our foremost priority is to rescue them. All the way to Vesper Bay, eh? Well, I do have this teleport thingy. Question is, how do I use them? Because that's new. This wasn't ha deal wasn't there before. You had to go to Horizon. You had to go to where is it? Central Fenelon, Western Fenelon. You had to go here and walk all the way here. I've traveled this road like about a million times. But nowadays, they provide you with. Everide tickets. Here we go. Vesper Bay Everide ticket. A voucher redeemable with a signs of the Seventh Dawn for instant teleportation to Vesper's Bay. Which is nice because there's no Ever Stone there. But it saves me the trouble, that's for sure. It's kind of convenient. Because that road, I have traveled more than a million times. I can't remember how many times. This guy here, dressed to deceive, and turns to the solar. Hello, Minfilia. Welcome back, Vexus. I'm pleased that you and Threnkrit have been getting along. I see you've done well to uncover the truth. My thanks for the report. As Threnkrit said, we must ascertain where the abducted were taken, and none but the Amalja know the answer. Suffice it to say, they will not willingly part with this information. I fear blood will be spilled before all is said and done. Alright, any side quest unlocked? No. Minvilia, I would like you to meet a distinguished individual. We get a weapon coffer. A heavy chest containing a weapon of item level 18 through 21. Interesting. Though we seek our peaceful solution to a primal problem, we must need ready to be fighter of our cause. That you might take the field Suitable prepared, I would have you meet with a goblin acquaintance of mine. His name is Mudamix Bubblypots, and he's a scholar of no small repute. 
Mudamix is renowned to have introduced a revolutionary method of enhancing equipment to yours, yeah? The knowledge of this method was once closely guarded secrets, but thanks to Mudamix and his students, it has now been disseminated to the great benefits of all the realm. It would serve you well to acquire an understanding of the process. For this purpose, I should lend you a blade. Take it to Mudamix and bid him to use to demonstrate his craft to you. Mudamix is ever to be found in the camp in central Fenelon, a place known as the Bonfire. Look for a pillar of smoke, and the way will become clear. Sure, I'm just gonna teleport there. Still got 37 remaining Etherite tickets, so we don't co it doesn't cost anything to teleport. Having said that, we did do another part of the main quest, so let's go with a guild hast roulette. Two of them, actually, since we did the other one as well, but uh, we didn't even do a guild hast in between. Are you still in need of tanks? They are. So I have no idea what this is. Is this one that are available? I'm completely new to these player plates. It's all level 90, so I thought I'd inspect it to see what's going on, but still no clue. It's a good way to store some combinations. There we go, we got two. I'll take it. Two out of three. Let's throw in another one. Wow. Instant. Always say hi and GG. Same one. This one takes only like a couple of seconds anyway. Healer's not attacking. Now he is. A bit late if you ask me. Trying to farm some accommodations here, Robin. That's why I'm just doing these in between the main quests. For every main quest I complete, I do one roulette. There we go, another one. They're easy to farm as tanks and healers. Not so much as DPS. Shuk. Who is Uplander? Come to Tentring of Mudamix Public Pots. I have a dagger here. Fighty Tool drinks in Fairy Self. When full of air self, Fighty Tool changes to Stony Shine, name of Materia. If Materia join with other Fighty Tool, then Biggie yes, Fighty Tool gains power of air self. Shkosh, Master Mix is reckoning the Uplander is friend of Minfilia. Yes, Tongue Flaps reach ears of Mudamix with fastness. Infilia wants Uplander to see power of materia. Uplander bring Fighty 2 to Mudamix, yes? Skull, Fighty 2 is unstrong as eating tool. Make good teachy show of power of materia. Mm. 
Materia Master. Now Ice of Uplander, Pointy Up, Fighty Tool, yes? Materia, join with Fighty Tool. Kamehameha! Boom. Fighty Tool gains power of Materia. Fighty Tool reborn. Here, Uplander, take Fighty Tool to Mephanelia. Materia, strictly speaking, is a kind of crystal and is created by drawing out the etheric constitutions from a piece of equipment and then crystallizing them. Not just any old equipment will serve, mind you. It must have sufficient spirit bond, and being a measure of how fully an item has been imbued with the item's owner, with the owner's spirit. When you attach a piece of material to a gear, you imbue the host item with its power. That's how Mudamix turned that dagger of yours from a somewhat as would have struggled to cut stake into a weapon worth wielding. Uplander wishes to be joinder of materia. Then Uplander best fill brain case with knowledge of crafty making. With no wings of crafty makings, Uplander can become joiner of materia. If Uplander wants to become brain case to rattle with knowings of materia, Uplander best trade tongue flaps with learning ones of Mudamix. Alright, thank you Mr. Goblin. Very, very, very informative. We got a new side quest here. Hello, Halatali. It's about time we got a new dungeon. Nedric Ironheart. Nedric of the Science of the Seven Dawn has some useful information he wishes to share. Hail, the adventurer. I'm Nedric Ironheart, an explorer by trade and a scion by allegiance. And you, my friend, look to me an adventurer in need of a challenge. I happen to know just the place that will offer it to you. Tucked away in a corner of Eastern Fallon lies Halatali. And it is there that you will find an old excitement you crave place boasts a story's history. It was built some 100 years ago by a past training grounds for gladiators. The calamity laid ruin to it, though as it did to most of the things, now Halitali is a shadow of its former self, but in, the dark, but in the dark of that shadow lurk wild beasts, both bloodthirsty and beyond count. For one such as yourself, I dare say there's no place finer than Halitali to test your skills and refine your technique. Indeed, I've taken the liberty of passing your name along to the flames to oversee the place. Should you visit, speak with the f speak with one Fava Joni near the entryway. All right, that's our new dungeon. We need to go back there anyway, so. Welcome back, Vexus. I trust your visit to the bonfire proof fruitful? Yep, here's your new and ends there. Ah, what a remarkable difference a single piece of materia can make. Granted, the skills needed to manipulate the substance are not easily acquired, but one need only look to the results to realize such efforts are worthwhile. I am sure you are aware, the quality of one's equipment can be difference between victory and defeat. Material may give you the edge you need, Vexus, so make it your ally. Now, it's time we discuss the matter of your next mission. Pray speak with me when you're ready to begin. Kinda curious about that little box though. So what's in there? Great. More of that same stuff. So apparently that was for the... How was that? For the... Should have read that before. Weapon times determined by the current job of class of time of owning. Cannot be open for instance areas such as dungeons, PvP raids or raids. Okay, now we got two of these Carnage Swords. Spirit Bond, 97%. Yeah, that's for later concern. How about Mephilia? Mephilia would like you to assist the Immortal Flames. Here we go. Lord of the Inferno. Word have arrived at Thancred concerning our ongoing investigation. It appears he was able to extract some information from our friend Angus, the False Priest. He revealed that he's due to meet with the Amalja to discuss their dealings. The Immortal Flames believe that the meeting will be present and the ideal opportunity to ambush and capture the Amalja responsible for the abductions, and so they mean to have Angus attend as planned. As the Amalja are anticipated to offer fierce resistance, the Immortal Flames have requested our support. I would have you provided to them, Thexus. Thancred is 
presently attending to another matter, but will join you as soon as he's able. Till such time as he does, you will be the science sole representative on the ground. Before he left, he begged me to tell you to save some for him, such as his confidence in you, a confidence I share. When you have made ready, pray take yourself to Camp Drybone, a report to the Flame Sergeant leading the mission. May you walk in the light of the crystal. Alright, that's a lot of boogity boogity, so join the roulette, because we did one of the main quests. Then we will go to Camp Drybone, and I think we will do Halitali first. Again, Bokman, this one's so easy. I'm not queuing for this dungeon, this just seems to be the one that everyone does. See how many we get this time. He said, Vexus, if you can, you should do your quest job ASAP. Yeah, I wish I could, but I'm too low in the main quest. <laughs> Thanks for the uh can I can I message you? Sent tell. Hey. Could not be sent. Well fine. Not my problem though. I know, I know. I'm not new to this game. Right guys, be right back. I'll give me like 30 seconds. I'm just gonna grab myself a drink.
Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry guys for waiting. So, first things first, we will do Halatali. They're both in the same area. Got myself an ice cold glass of soda. Not gonna say the name. Let's just say the color is dark. It's black. Unless they want to sponsor me, then by all means. <laughs> Not even affiliated yet. We need about 85 subscribers left so we can get affiliation with YouTube. So we're getting there. I can't wait to get my chocobo. Like, I'm level 34. That guy was said, you need to get your class quest. I know, but the thing is, is that I've been optimizing my experience I get. So I'm actually quite high in level compared to where I am in the main quest. That's the whole reason I'm not a paladin yet. Tally is. Would that be 20? Since the quest is 20. Was it? Yeah, it was. The gauntlets aren't better, so I'm going with the bronze pieces. I thought that was a shield, and then I thought it was a helmet, but it's an umbrella. I like her outfit. Fafajoni. It is the halls of Halitali you seek? Then seek no further. Permit me to tell you something of this place. The name comes from an ancient tongue. Halitali means the land of many shadows. It was here that our distant ancestors first settled and... Bah, you've not come all this way for a lesson in history? No, I've not. Shh, listen. Do you not hear the howls and growls? Do you not feel how they shake the very earth beneath you? Those sounds are the work of no wind, my friend, nor the rumbling they're doing of any shadows. There are the calls of Halitali, for now beasts once kept at the Colosseum lurk here. And these no gentle beasts broken by the hand of man. No, these are within even the might of the immortal flames cannot tame. From the look of you, you must be vexed, as I. I received word from Nedric that you might be along. By his recommendation, I grant you leave to enter freely. I only pray you're able to find your way out. Who's this guy? Why do you have a magician's hat on? Alright, so now we can enter Halitali. And that's what we'll do.
Ah, your vex is Jaeger of the Science? My thanks for coming, friend. We have strung for your assistance. Allow me to brief you on their mission. Our objective is to capture the Amalja and prize <clears throat> from them the whereabouts of the abductees. The lizard men aren't aware that the man, Angus, has been exposed. When they come to rendezvous point to meet the traitor, we'll spring the trap. Owing to the clandestine nature of this mission, we can deploy only a small contingent. Every member must count, and so we requested the aid of the Scions. The rendezvous will take place in the Invisible City. Please make your way there and lie in wait. We stand to learn much about the Amalja plot if this mission succeeds. Vexus, let's make sure it does. I mean, yes and no? What is Star Wars doing here? They're already... Yeah, he's got his joke about, of course, he's Serpent Private. We'll withdraw for now. Level sync, level 24. Yeah, we're only 34, so <laughs> only 10 levels higher. <laughs> Is the bait in place? Our man is in position, sir. Good. We make our move as soon as the Amalja appear. Yes, sir. Attack! Ah. What is the meaning of this? Something's amiss. There's a lot of these boys. <laughs> Wait, even the fl even the flame? I'm afraid your little ambush ends here. I eluded the immortal flame's clutches for moons before finally being cut. Do you not wonder how I managed? It was almost as if someone was feeding the information from the inside. <laughs> I, your every movement was known to me ahead of time. <laughs> now, as much as I'd love to chat a while, I have appointments to keep. They're all yours. Alright, well, greatly outnumbered. Let's dance.
Well, quality over quantity, I'd say. There we go. Might be outnumbered, but we're very, way stronger than them. Achievement to crush your enemies free. Kill a thousand enemies. That wasn't the case. We were beating their asses. Who are your weapons or your comrade Statman? Behind you. Nighty night. That was a sleep spell. Bring him. The rest of you march. Traitorous scum. There's a lot of people down here. <clears throat> Afidi Amaja mean to give us their goods as an I fear the Amalja mean to give us to their god as an offering. If I must die, then let me die as a soldier's death with steel in hand. The Baal of Ember is now accessible. So we want a cure for Halitali and the Bulls of Ember.
Oh, we could also try it like this, because I'm not sure if we're going to get a final party, to be honest. Let's wait a few more minutes. If nothing pops up, then we'll just do it like that. Kind of curious as how that works as well. Like, are the NPCs, like, perfectly synced, or do they mess up, or... I wonder how that works. Well, I guess we'll try. Let's see. This doesn't look to be going anywhere anytime soon. Let's see. Lord of the Inferno, hearken to our plea. Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from our misery. O oh, mighty Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno. Your humble servants beseech you, grace us with your divine presence. Oh, my dear Freed, we bring before you ignorant savages who know not of your godhead. Godhead? Godhood. I know, it's thought it said Godhead. If it pleases you, Lord, scorch our heathen souls with your cleansing flame and mark them as your own. Bloody hells. Bring those two as well. Ugh. What's going on? This ain't what we agreed. None but servants of Lord of Freed may behold the right of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeit. No, spare me, I beg of you. Pitiful children of man, bathe my breath, I claim you, or by my breath, I claim you. Arise once more as loyal minions. Feed my flames with your faith, and all who stand against us shall burn. Yeah, primals have the, uh, the, the ability to uh, mind control people. Everyone, beside me. Oh, mighty Ifrid. My one true god. Your words are my bread. All of them have become thralls. All of them except for me. Impossible. By what sorcery do you resist my master's will? Could it be? Your soul already belongs to another. Yes, that is the only explanation. Forsooth, thy frail mortal frame can serve as a vessel for the blessing of but one. Yet I smell not the taint of another upon thee. The truth of thine allegiance waxeth clear. Thou art the godless blessed numbers. The paragons warned of thine abhorrent kind, thine existence is not to be suffered. Let's go then, Ifrit. You and my NPC buddies against you. I really don't know how this works. How does this work? Each time your party is defeated? Okay, well, there's, there's no gonna be defeats. It's been a while since I've done this dude, but 
wonder if the tactics have changed at all. Well, at least they're not getting hit by it, so that's good. Surrender themselves to the fires of judgment. I'm gonna destroy the nil, people. Normally, I'm not supposed to do this, but their DPS seems a little bit low. I'm not going to use Limit Break, I'll use mine. There we go, Lord of the Inferno goes down. It's another crystal. Ooh, shiny. We already had the blue one, now we have a red one. Pray forgive my lateness. You're loose, super late, Tengret. I was delayed by the congregation of Amoja Zilots. I swear, each seemed more avalanchical than the last. Hmm, persistent lot. Now we get to see his true class. Phew. I see the blood sworn wasted no time extracting the captives, no less than I'd expect from the flame general's handpicked man. Are they still under thrall, or did I break the thrall now that I killed the freed? As for those two, it's fair to say their hardship has only just begun. They've much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology, Vextus. Had I known this mission would prove so dangerous, I would have never left you to face it alone. You have been given a veritable baptism of fire. But let us continue the conversation in the more agreeable surrounds. Camp Drybone, shall we say? This way, sir.
So that was the mighty Efreed. <clears throat> Nero. And what a disappointment he was. The readings are nowhere near what I had anticipated, even taking all the interference into account. Should know better than to rely on five year old data left by the Seventh Legion. Nor can we expect any form of support from the motherland given trouble at the court. We have only ourselves to rely upon. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia. Promise me you'll never change. We wasted enough time here. A matter of yours is too old to give any reading with a damn. Nor, not that that was odd worth a damn for it to read. But I take your point. I suppose we might content ourselves with the knowledge that we have achieved our primary objective. Yet I find that I am troubled by the adventurous, unexpected show of strength. Could such a foe prove to be a hindrance to our plans? Perhaps, but it is a consideration for another time. You've been given a task. That is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Fail to do as my lord commands. And I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. With allies like that. Beware of woman something I couldn't read the rest. A frondy free in the bowel embers. Right, I think crit. Well, that was quick. No. Okay, we skipped that conversation, unfortunately. I thought I would go complete the quest there. I could just rewatch the uh, reading. Too bad. My mistake.
We're just gonna nuke the boss. Ignore the little flames, I guess. Here comes the damage. I'll take a sprint here, get that treasure chest. Oh, well, that's what you get for attacking without a tank, but that's fine.
mapping the realm. Halatali. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, this is the one with the ogre. Kind of looks like a little, little mini afraid, if you will. To the dungeons, achievement unlocked. Wait. How's that? What's this? What? What? What is this? Oh, so it's both a sword and a shield. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. I'll take that. It's worse than what I have, though. That's a shame. So this one, despite it not being a plate armor, is better than what I have. That's interesting as well. How statistics? Strength, fit, and direct hit. Strength, fit... That's better. A lot better. Great, now I'm He-Man. That's an upgrade. There's an upgrade as well. That one is not. Strength, fit, and crit. Strength, fit, and direct hit. Yeah, that's better. Right, got a few upgrades here. Now I look like he man Got one player commendation. Nice. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Board the signs of the Seven Dawn at the Walking Sense. Alright. Guess that's where we're going. Yes, we did. So we technically could do Sunken Temple of Corn right now as well. So we slew a primal. It freed. That'll give me a. No, it doesn't give me a new title. There's a Yishtola. I always say Ishtola, but they say y Yishtola or something. It's 
Silence of the Seven Dawn. And a triumphant hero returns. Franklin told us the news upon his arrival. He's presently in the cellar, giving a full report to Lady Minfilia. You should join him at once. Lady Minfilia is most eager to see you. Uh, let me cancel this one, because this is going to take a while, I think. My late arrival nearly cost Vexus his life. I wasn't there when the Amalja took him prisoner. And I wasn't there when they served him to Ifrit. Yes, by some miracle he survived, but that does not excuse the fact that he should never have to face such dangers alone. I failed him utterly, just as I'm failing you all. Ah, oh, come on, stop being so negative. What's done is done, Fancrit. You can't blame ill yourself for every. I'm fine, see? I'm alive, and I got this new dapper outfit. Vaxis, it's good to see you again. Impeccable timing, my friend. I just finished regaling Minfilia with your heroic exploits. Fengrid has told me everything. You have done well to return to us. The perils you faced were undeniably great, yet a part of me believes that I had no cause to fear. Now we can put paid to our long last investigation. As we suspected, the Amalja undertook both the robbery and the abductions with the aim of summoning their primary freed. Doris is this tale limited to Ulda? Similar incidents have been rife in both Limsalominsa and the Gridanians of late. I dare say you've been so curious as to how these crimes are linked to the primals? Permit me to explain. Having manifested in our physical realm, primals must consume ether if they are to maintain their presence here. And the stronger they become, the more ether they require. Now, ether exists through creation. It flows through all life and permits the very air we breathe. Alas, this only will not suffice to sustain the likes that we read, no. Nay, he and his kind require a more concentrated source of ether. Crystals. It's for this reason that the incident involving crystals can often be tracked back to a primal. Which leaves us why of the abductions to understand this. You must first understand how primals are born. When all is well in the world, primals possess no physical form. Their essence is dispersed across the great river of ether. However, when their world is plunged into chaos, those who worship the primals cry out for their gods for deliverance from suffering. These cries serve as a beacon towards which a primal essence is irresistibly drawn. It is this coming together or a fairy coalescence which grants their being's physical form. Once born, a primal gains strength from its followers. Worship. The more numerous and fervent they are, the more powerful their god becomes. But the primals are seldom satisfied with such reverence as their adherents freely give, and in order to gain more power they do not scruple to create followers, they do this to tempering mortals, or process to which yourself were subjugated. Yet, even as if Ifrit took your comrades in his thrall, you alone remain unaffected. This is thanks to the power you possess, the Echo. We know not why of it, but the blessed, but those blessed with the echo are immune to primal influence. Why well, isn't that convenient? It is though of a greater power protects us. When you first came to us, I told you that the echo would be an instrumental dealing with primal threat. I trust you now begin to see why. The recent incidents all share a common trait: meticulous planning, such elaborate designs, or a new development, one which fills me with an unshakable sense of foreboding. While well, I share your concern. Our presiding phoenix is one of relief at your safe return, and the immortal flames assured that you that they will deal with the aftermath, so no need to concern yourself with that. You may rest easy for a time. I suggest you take full advantage of the respite, Vexus. You may be sure it won't last long. Once the people learn the identity of the hero who fell the freed, I fear you will have nary a moment to yourself. Whether she intended to or not, Amphidia neglected to tell you something. Something I think it would be best you heard from one of us. They concerns the tempered abductees they were rescued. I'm sorry to report that they'll all be put to death. The flames of whom you were imprisoned including. Needless to say, this information must not be made known to the public. So I knew it, they were going to get killed. They weren't just better all of a sudden. I swear to you what we... Wait, wait. I swear to you that we would not do so if there were any other resource... But once a man is tempered, he is tempered for life. 
His very existence lends strength to the primal, who we cannot choose but worship. So we scions continue our fight, that no more innocents need to be sacrificed. I hope that you will continue to stand with us, Vexus. But I should be going. I must offer my apology to the Flame General for the losses of his personal for his people suffered. Till next time. See you around, Thangrit. Gods forgive me. How many more lives? Louis Swa would never have allowed this to happen. I have to do better. I have to be stronger. You gain 7k experience. Infilia's wearing a wry smile might it have something to do with your newfound fame. You can finally join a grand company. Still don't know how to get a free company. Need to do some research on that. Although not so very long ago, you were but one of many adventurers seeking to make your way in Eorzea. But for characters and courage, you were raised to the esteemed post of Envoy. Thereafter, you traveled the realm, aiding those in need without a further reward, confirming to Thancred that the science would benefit from your aid, and no sooner had you joined us than you personally bested the prime we freed. You have achieved a great deal in such a short time, and won fame in so doing. Alas, fame does not come without a price, as you will soon discover. We have guests, Vexus. Rather, you have guests. Back pardons? We're going with the middle one. Already chosen. Millstrom, Viper, Flames. Ah, Lady Minfilia. Radiant as always. I am given to understand that the signs of the Seventh Dawn have but recently welcomed a new hero in their midst. I am here on behalf of the Millstrom, Grand Company of Limsilla Minsa, the offer set hero. A place of honor within our ranks. As you can see, Vexus, your recent exploits have garnished your attention of the grand companies of Eorzea. Each organization would have Ifrit's bane for its own. To this end, all three have sent officers to court you. They would, they would not ordinarily go to such length to enlist a new recruit that they have, that they have is evidence of their high regard for you. I find myself wondering how word of Vex's deed spread so quickly that the immortal flame should know of this triumph is to be expected. But what of the other grand companies? <laughs> Busted. Yep. Your reputation precedes you, Master Jaeger. There's no ordinary man who can face a prime when they emerge to victor. The Order of Twin Adders has need of valiant men such as you. Join your strength to ours, friend, and together lend us ensure that the peace ever reigns over the Twelve's Wood. What a pleasure it is to finally meet you, Master Jaeger. My comrades speak of you in the most glowing terms. Why, even before you aided us against the Amalja under that primal, you were already respected the name in Ulda, or people know you and love you well. A man of your talents belong with the immortal flames. Join the strength of ours, friend, and together let us secure a prosperous future for Ulda. I like that one, because the story involves a lot of flames as well. The Admiral was not exaggerating when she said you looked like the hero. Full often does she speak of you, friend. It's only natural that she wants you to join the Maelstrom. Join her strength to ours, and together let us see the grand vessel of Limsalo Minsa to the shores of glory. I'm going with the flames. Lady Minfilia? Very well. Though I'm quite sure you need not know reminding, may have a brief summary of the situation will help you clarify your thoughts on the matter. As you know, the Grand Companies are all encompassing organizations empowering the call upon the martial, economic and technolo technological resources of their respective city-states in times of strife. There are presently three such organizations in Eorzea, the Maelstrom of Limsa Lominsa, the Order of Twin Adder of Gridania, and the Immortal Flames of Ulda. Serving a Grand Company means serving the nation to which it belongs. You will be charged with its defense and tasked with, advances, with advancing its cause. In return to your faithful service, you will be furnished with various rewards, some which may well prove useful to you in other endeavors. If you are organizing, if you are agonizing over which grand company best deserves your loyalty, be at ease. The commitment you make may, this day, need not be permanent. Should you wish to shift your allegiance at a later date, they are entitled to do so. 
Yet I can see that it is no small choice you face. Ah, a thought occurs to me. You will, of course, recall the three city states and planning to hold a remembrance service? Well, as part of our proceedings, I'm giving to understanding that the leader of each grand company will deliver an address. Hearing these addresses ought to help you make an informed decision. What say you, my dear officers? Fine suggestion. You're as wise as you are beautiful, my lady. Very well, then Vexus has our leader speak, then return here with a decision. We eagerly await your answers. Middle guy, middle guy. Yeah. I know full well the adventurers are by nature a liberty-loving breed and not best suited to the discipline of military service, but I strongly urge you, urge you to join a grand company nonetheless. While this promise of reward is enticing in itself, it is not the only benefit. You are possessed of great power, Vexus, and with you are capable of doing untold good. Yet know that great power is won't attract attention, not all of it friendly. There will be those who will wish you ill, and you must needs to be on the lookout for them. Yet, however vigilant you are, you are but one man in the midst of a grand company. However, you will be one man amongst many, a friend amongst friends. Your achievements will be shared and so will the danger. I can think of no better arrangement. Of course, joining one organization need not mean love leaving another. I hope that we can continue to rely upon your aid. Twelve note that we will have need of it in these days ahead. The grand company seeks to protect their own nation. We silence, on the other hand, seek to preserve the future of yours as a whole. Similar, yet not quite the same. Now then, I expect you will be afield more often in the future, as such I will carry this link pro with you at all times, it will allow us the same touch regardless of location. Should have given me that from the start. Yours is changing, Vexus, and you have the power to help shape it anew. None can say what the morrow will bring, but so long as we believe in ourselves there is not we cannot achieve. Now it is time you made already for your journey. Before you depart, be sure to speak to Tataru. She will appraise you as to where and where the remembrance service are due to take place. Wasn't it Gridania? I think it was Gridania. Quest accepted. Free companies. Free companies are independent player operated organizations, not unlike guilds. While there are no restrictions on who you may join a company, players can belong more than one free company at a time, oh can they? Companies will advance in rank as their members earn company points by undertaking various duties around Eorzea. Yeah? The task will also earn company credits, which can be used as a currency to purchase various items. To form a company, a player must first draft a petition and then get three other players to sign it. These three players will become the founding members of the company. Now that is a problem, so I'm just going to have to recruit people and then kick them out. Okay, so... How do I form a free company then? It's nice they tell me what needs to be done in order to create one. Would be nice if they tell me where to create one. Taru. Hello, Totaru. She's still there. She's been there for a whole long time. I am uh, sorry about all the attention you're getting, Vexus. I might have sung your praises a little too loud and often to a few too many people. Mm -hmm. Next time I'll be sure to hold my tongue. Literally, if necessary. Anyway, I was expected to know where and when the Remembrance Service are taking place. If all goes to plan, Gridania's Grand Company, the Order of Twin Edder, will hold the first of the three services, and Elder Seed Sir Kani Senna will deliver her address at Mikado's Amphitheater. I should provide mention at this point that due to organizational challenges involved in assembling all of the involved parties, it is possible that all the that the order of the services might change. Still, there's not so much we can do about that, so make her down here first port of call. Next, you'll need to go to Ulda, where, Flemmer, where Flame General Raubon Eldin will be addressing the masses at the Royal Promenade. Ah, and it's rumored there's also a special guest. How exciting. Last but not least, you must make your way to the stateroom in Limsalo Minsa, where the Milstrom Chief, Admiral Merlwip, Bluffswin will be giving her address. The room is accessible via the Admiral's lift. Identify yourself to the sentries and veil, and he will admit you. Got all that? 
Well, off you go then. I hope you find your remembrance service suitable educa- Suitable? Educational? I mean, suitably educational. I suggest visiting the city-states in my prescribed order. Though with your record of impeccable timing and luck, the schedules may well change in favor of your preferred travel plans. Farewell. AKA she's telling me, no worries. No need to rush. Anyhow, uh, I guess we will go to Gridania first then. Let's see if we can get that free company up. Got a lot of new quests here. What is all this stuff? The house that death built. Interesting. Is that a new dungeon? It has a plus on it. It means it unlocks something. Crystal Palace, perhaps. No, Nojiro Marojiro has a. A lot of gossip that has been dying to share with someone. If you're looking, poking around looking for work, you must be an adventurer too. Am I right? You won't find much here, I'm afraid. Seems the only thing people talk about these days is the nasty of business down in Islam Har. Surely you heard of the stories? Strange portals suddenly appearing in the ruins down there? Uh, nope. Hey, don't give me that look. I'm only telling you what I overheard from the whalers. They say on the other end, other end of it's some sort of labyrinth. The thing is, every time you go down there, the map down there to map the base out. Nothing's the same. Mystery, if I've ever heard one. Frankly, I'm more than happy to let it stay a mystery. Strange apparitions, booby trap corridors going down there is nothing short of suicide. Still the prospect of treasure is awfully tempting. Mm -hmm. Don't make me a word for it, though. Head down to Isom Hari. You can head straight there from the Chugobo's mouth. Isn't that uh, Crystal Palace? I don't know, actually. I haven't even been in the shelf shrub yet. Choi if Moy would grant you passage through the White Wolf Gate. Yeah, that's something I like. Vexus, is it not? I've been following your exploits with great interest. You've had served all that well, but I believe your greatest accomplishment are yet to come. It is with such lofty expectations that I will grant your passage beyond Gridania's own White Wolf Gate. Take this passage, show to... Franche Montois, the gatekeeper. Gird yourself well before the battle to come, and I'm sure that the news of your deeds will reach me before long. We got two new quests. This one's easy, it's already done. Only those who possess the gate pass may travel through the White Wolf Gate. It is for your own good. The fearsome beast that lurk beyond would tear an unprepared adventurer limb from limb. You have papers? Let us see now. Yes, everything appears to be in order. Go in safety, Vexus. In the future, should you wish to pass, you only need to say the word. Earrings. Well, I got really cool earrings, so I'm going to with the silver pieces. He's got a new quest. Beneath the planks. Rustabend has a task of a capable adventurer. It is no ordinary adventurer who's granted passage through the White Wolf Gate. I'm Rustabund of the Wood Whalers, and I would like to see you live up to your reputation. My fellow whalers at Dustus and Spire are in grave need of adventurous aid. Should you have in mind to make yourself useful, travel there and seek Tifa Nikes, or whatever his name is. Just gonna complete that one quest to get it out of my log. So where are we right now? This is considered the Central Shroud.
just gonna complete this quest, leave that one there. Just because this this one belongs to the Gridania log. I'll pick this quest up once we start once we start doing the cent wait, we actually did already do the central shroud. Alright, correct that. In that case, we're gonna do it right now. Naturalist Marset and Dunstan Spire is in need of a research assistant. You have the honor of addressing Mercedes, realm renowned naturalist, esteemed a foragress of New Yorkian Geographic. The single most comprehensive collection of knowledge of her realm has ever seen or ever will see. You've not heard of Geographic? Why, of course you haven't. It hasn't been purchased, published yet, and never will be if my sister keep dawdling around instead of doing their jobs. So hop to it. Of course I'm talking to you. Do you see anyone else here? No, for the 70,000th time, five toadstool caps and be quick with them. Fever Nikes. Rust of sent you. Thanks to 12. I've just about given hope to anyone who can answer a call. Did you perhaps notice a gaping hole in the ground on your way here? Aye. It would be hard to miss. One of my many remnants of Delamont's fury. The scaffolding you see is the solution we worked up with our friends from the Carpenter's Guild, but even the sturdiest wood is at the mercy of elements. The rains have fallen hard of late, and I fear that she still might be some soggy planks left unattended. Please see to them, as well as any pests who come to feast on our wood. Pretty deep. Well, nothing appeared. No? Okay. Not sure what's going on here, but there's one. I might just take this sword in hand when I do a dungeon. Let's see if it goes up in Spirit Bond. It's not going up. Still not going up. <clears throat> I could try it in a dungeon, maybe. Wait a minute. That one. I was like, how come that sword is weaker? That the wrong one equipped. It wasn't the Spada, it was the Makahutil. Makwatel? I don't know how to pronounce that, honestly. Sunken Temple of War.
Dude, how about you heal? Jeez. Guess I can't rush with this healer. Gonna do some self-promotions while I'm in the dungeon, right? <laughs> no, no final sting. That's gonna hurt. That will hurt, yep. Yep.
How did we do that? Ready check? There we go. It's been a while since I did this boss. Could use a heal here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, where's the glowing platform? There it is. Mage is dead. No, he's dead. I like this dungeon because it's full of uh, full of nasty traps, etc. This is not your easy tank and spank dungeon. Right, what do we got? Oh, those are pretty good. I'll take those. Gearing up quite nicely here. Need to kill the hat on top of the pedestal, <clears throat> otherwise they're gonna keep spawning. I was afraid for a second. I'm like, wait, he doesn't respawn? A little bit better positioning there. There we go. Should be fine. We need that flame of magic. We need that one for the final room. There's an extra special room hidden here. Need uh, the fruit, the fruit and the flame. This is one of them. There's a skill at the end where you need this one. There we go. And then the other side, that one might have the uh, the fruit, fruit of knowledge, I believe. Just gotta find it. There it is. That's the fruit of knowledge. We need that one.
It's been a couple of years since last I played this dungeon. I reckon about a year of four. Let me stun this guy. There we go. Grab the fruit. There we go. I can't type and walk at the same time. You go this way. Some, quite some good upgrades on this run already. We've got the gloves here. It's just a matter of time before we win. We also got the sword and shield that we just won. Flame tongue and corn kite shield. Next objective. Clear the Adatum of Lalafudo the Fourth. Definitely need to get my Paladin class soon, as soon as I can, but I can't yet, that's the problem. Because it makes me a lot more sturdier than I am right now. to kill the soul stone first and then once he crumbles take out the body shift M there we go oh soul stone first body second there we go not going after me all of a sudden. It's just randomly attacking people right now. Because I'm pretty sure I have the aggro quite a bit if you can check the meters in the top left. Normally nibbit break this guy, because we have a full bar sitting on the top left, which we don't do anything with anyway. There we go, just barely able to kill him. Warren Chainmill, well all of this is pretty good. Getting some massive upgrades here. Okay, so I seem you, you, I, it seems you have found my uh, stream. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, that's true, but it's just sitting around here now anyway, so... Either just save it or use it, you know? This account, it's the second day of this account, so... Just rushing really, really. Yeah, I think it will be full again before the last boss, though. That's, that was my idea, at least. Because there's still quite a bit of trash ahead of us. Right, I appreciate that. <clears throat> Are you... you're an Odin. 
Um, are you are are you on the light server as well? Are you able to jump over servers? Because I am on L5, if I'm not mistaken. Because I am also playing this game with my girlfriend, or about to play this game with my girlfriend. And we're actually trying to set up a, a free company. But the only thing I need help with, kind of like right now, is the, uh, the signing of the petition for the uh, free company. Like, I need a few people to sign it. You can leave straight after if you'd like. I just need to set it up first. So here we got a po stone pedestal. So you need to look what's on top. This one is the gem. So we need the gem of affluence. Here we go. There's treasure coffers in there. I'm not really here for the treasure cover, to be honest. I think you can join multiple free companies, though. That's what I just read. That's what the game just told me, like, a few minutes ago. What is this? This is the helmet. Okay, all of this is just random rubbish. We actually need to explore these chambers in order to get the uh, mapping of the realm. I noticed you were part of a free company, yeah. That's the only reason I suggested it, because I do believe you can join multiple. But like I said, you could join, you could leave immediately after if you'd like. I'd appreciate the help if we can get it fixed. I'm not sure if we can though. Uh, Alright, so this one. This is the fruit. Fruit of knowledge. So, yeah. So in order to explore the map, I need to open these. Baldean glass, not even sure what that is. A reagent. Final one. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm not sure if you can join at level 1 though, but I'm not sure. I have little experience with free companies. It's been at least like 4 or 5 years before... Uh, since I last played this properly at least. I haven't touched the second last two expansions. I got the I got the uh, what do you call them? I have the uh, collector's edition sitting on the shelf, but I never opened them. Okay, so we need the uh, the flame on the left and fruit on the right. So that will open the wall next to us. If it's done incorrectly, you won't be able to open it anymore. And this this dungeon is not on my favorite list. So on the left goes the flame, on the right goes the fruit. Oof, there we go. second as I open these treasure chests. One, two, three. Well, that's better gear. Here we go, mapping all the realm.
This is an interesting boss. Interesting mechanics. Let's see. Uh, Adamus. Don't think I've got skills right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people mess the skills up, that's for sure. We don't have any melee DPS, so we're gonna have to do it. Technically the ranged DPS could go inside as well, but... I don't think we have enough to fill the second bar, so we can limit break now. There we go, GG. Swift run. The boots are nice. Hellfire, don't need that. So, thank you guys for joining. Um, I have no idea to set up a free company. If you could help me, that would be appreciated. You could try it, at least. Not sure if there's a limited limit uh, to... I think you're part of the uh, same battle realm. So even your character should, the current characters you're using should be able to hop over. Not really sure on how that exactly works though. Because that wasn't there when I last played, that's for sure. Uh, let me do a quick check on the restrictions on joining a free company. Okay, you can join at level 1. So, it's up to you. You can, if you would love to help me with making a new character, you can... Well, you can tell me which city you'll be at, and I'll just teleport there. And s let you sign the document. That would be awesome. Yeah, I figured that from the last name. <laughs> you both have the same last name, so I figured you guys were together. My partner as well. I'm actually using a different character when I play together with her. But Jaeger being my last name, uh, we both have that name. I got a lot of new gear. Let me check it out. Hellfire. You need corn chain mill. That's a big upgrade. Horn gloves, that's another big upgrade. Let's 
So, yeah, you can let me know if you want which uh, city you'll be at, and then, uh... I'm not sure, how can I add... Can you add friends from across the server? Let's see if I... No. I have no idea. I'm gonna hop out there and try and make a new character in Alpha. I think you just need three people to sign. Um... Uh, social? Friendly. Ah, I can't add you at this current time. Because we're in a dungeon, apparently, which is kind of weird. Alright, um... What, what city will you be at? I'll just wait near the starting area. I have to get the petition first, which I'm not even sure how to get at this point. We'll go out to the dungeon and go from there. Probably Gudrania. Alright. Well, you're in the stream, so I reckon you could... Ooh, three recommendations. Awesome. You could potentially reply in... Uh, what you might call this? In the YouTube as well. Man, I suck at doing multiple things at once. Um, so we were here, but that's just gonna have to wait now, because we have people helping us. I'm trying to get uh, the whole reason I'm trying to start my own free company so I can get a house once I have enough money That's a, a free company, there we go. Oh, I think I can't yet. I think I have to first do the grand company part. Let me check. This can be done by going one of three grand company headquarters. It does not have to be your own. Once there, talk to the OIC. Um, administrator, there we go. Oh no, I can, I think. And I shall issue you a blank petition, so as to avoid complications later on, we ask you now to nominate a name and tag for your company. Please note that you should find the name or tag to your disliking at a later date. They may be changed if you do so desire. Company name. Final Landis, there we go. Go with this one for now. Very good. Now then, you may have a petition signed by the three individuals who will form the company's core membership. Once you have done so, please return with a completed petition. Cost 15k. Man, what a ripoff. Right, so we got a petition. Where is it though? Here we go. So, what do I do then? Fight a party, send friend request. Nah, I'm cool on the 15k, to be honest. Thank you very much. Wait, accept. Uh, there we go. Oh, so you are... Hmm. Wait. I'm a bit confused here. I added you on the friend list, even though you're on Odin. Company Wanderer. I'm at the free company right now. See if I can find you. Atalan. Ata. I don't see your name here yet. I'm not sure if you're in Gridania yet.
There we go. There she is. Um, give me a mo. Oh, there we go. Invite a new company. The feature is only available for use with characters currently on their home world. So that's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. So I can't invite you because you're from a different server. But if you make a new character, that should work. Because I think you can be in multiple free companies at once. Alright, I'll be right here then. Thank you so much. I'll see if I can find that third person, because my girlfriend is not on this account right now. So, I'm just going to find the third person. Probably should whisper to these people first before I just randomly invite them. So the new gear is all blue and all. It's definitely a ma massive upgrade. Sunko Temple of Quarn is an interesting dungeon. It's the first dungeon where you cannot just blindlessly run through it. There's a lot of mechanics in there that will kill you if you do. So what else is in need of upgrades right now? Look at it, we got the boots, we got the legs, we got the feet. I mean. Feet, legs, hand, body. We got the sword and shield. All that was left was the helmet. And some of the accessories, but they're not as important. We got six upgrades in that one run there. It's an interesting weapon he's got there. You can tell I haven't played this game in ages. free trial. This dude is on free trial at level 69. To what level is the free trial then? Thank you. Can you help me out? She's already been invited to my free company. Here's another Miku. There's a lot of Mikus here. Free company. I'm just spamming random people right now. I'm not spamming really, but just inviting them. Or she has a Oh no, that's my Moogle. I was like, hey, she has a Moogle too. I remember if you have multiple Moogles. <laughs> the Grudge Bringers. I don't think that will fit though. I could. Let's see. Yo, Rachel Picus. Thanks for the subscription on my channel. I'm assuming you might be the one that I just met. 
Waiting approval. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait. Oh. Keeping a track out on any of the people that I just met. Joshua Tibay. Ah, hey, welcome. Appreciate the sub. It's nice building a community in Final Fantasy. I've postponed streaming this game for way too long. And then I figured, you know what? If I'm going to stream this, I might as well start over. <laughs> Set my surname correctly. Band of Wolves. I can always change to get the, uh, the... What do you call this? I can always change the free company name, I suppose. For now, I'm going with Final Endis. There's a reason for that. Because that is the uh, nickname for my wife and... Oh, no, my wife. So, excuse me. My girlfriend and I. <laughs> I just skipped a few steps there. <laughs> I just said wife. She's my girlfriend for now. Hey, one can only hope in the future, right? <laughs> Are you that person? A random level two here. Future wife, yeah. Her uh, gamer tech is Salendis. Mine's Final Fantasy fan, or Hunter DL, depending on what platform I use. But basically, Jager, that's how you should pronounce it, if it's Dutch. That is my last name. But most English will probably pronounce it as Jaeger. I mean, yeah, I mean... I don't do... I don't do lust, I do longing. Like, I want, I want a serious relationship. I'm 35, man, I'm not getting any younger. I have my wild years behind me. I want serious relationships. I mean, I'm Dutch, actually. I'm from the Netherlands. Though I do speak one, two, three, four languages. Well, three and a half language. But Dutch being my mother language. Dutch and English are easy. German is a bit rusty, and my uh, Japanese is in need of practice. But I've been studying Japanese for a while. I actually studied Japanese for the sole reason to uh, get in contact with the Japanese crew of Square Enix. Ha, <laughs> German. Duol Duolingo is good, though. I've had... Uh, I know people from Square Enix in London, I know some from Germany, from Berlin, and I know some from uh, uh, Paris, French, because I used to go to all these events, etc. And uh, I didn't, I mean, I met Yoshida, I met Yoshida, uh, Yoshi P, quite a few times in real life, I reckon about 12 times now? I even played with him on the main stage in Gamescom during uh, Nidgehog Extreme. Got like 20 of his autographs, etc. Uh, but we were always using a translator to communicate. So I figured, let me learn some Japanese so I can communicate with him in, per uh, in person. I still have the pictures somewhere. I really need to upload them to my YouTube. Hello. Uh, where are you exactly? Oh, you're over there. Let me go to you. Oh. Oh, I thought that person was waving at me. Like, wait, is that another person? It's really cool that you met Yoshi P. Yeah, I used to be in uh, Gamescom. I, well, if you check out my YouTube channel, you can see me make a, what do you call this? A showroom for my Final Fantasy collection, and a lot of this stuff is signed by him as well. Uh, let me send you one. Accept. There we go. And then I need to get used to how this works. There we go. Right click. Invite to new company.
Luckily, I have two Fantasia bottles, because the more I play this character, the more I'm thinking of changing it. This guy looks like a grumpy old dude. Alright, that's our first petition signed. What's your... Well, I don't want to imply on the wrong thing. Your friend, was it? <laughs> or your partner? I'm not sure. Was he also on his way? Currently watching football. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that makes that. that, that, that. <laughs> There's priorities, right? So I'm just gonna have to ask random people here to uh, see if I can get two more signs. I got one right now. Atlanta Vir Verdi Vir Viridi Viridi or Veridi because <laughs> it's triple E. <laughs> Um, uh, appreciate the help. I was gonna postpone this for a while, but since you were asking if I needed some help, I figured, you know, let me take you up on that offer. <laughs> Dutch directness. Right there. Um, uh, so, let me just... Was it yell slash y? Yes, there we go. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, right? I sometimes do that as well. Or do these weird uh, weird symbols above the I and E and O and U. Um. Alpha Surfer. Well, that's a typo right there. Now it's French. Alpha Sefre. <laughs> Sounds French. I'm, I'm, my, French is not one of the languages that I study. I know a few words and that's about it. What is that hood though? Oh yeah, so the hood is cap is uh, responsible for the cat ears. All right. Wow, my stream elements is slow as r usual. So I decided to start completely over, new server as well. So like my finances are only like north ninety four k. But I'll be fine, because, you know, I only need 15k, and I don't want to, uh, insist. What is this, ET? There's so much stuff going on that I'm not familiar with at all. Well, that's supposed to be a Tonberry, isn't it? It is. Like, that's the thing, if you haven't, uh, played in a long while. Uh, sure. Are you Biden? Who's that? Is he talking to me? Still looking for two more people to sign a petition. I'm just gonna be a, a random dude just inviting random people, I suppose, at this point. Nope. A lot of these people are in free trial, like a lot of them. Yeah, I appreciate that. I added you, I added your main account right now on the friend list. So, uh, we can always. Is it? We can always team up, for sure. Right now I've completed all the dungeons that are available to me. 
It's one of the advantages of being a tank. You don't have any Q time, or hardly any. I just sent a friend request, that was not what I meant. Well, we got one person. Uh, Junior Basher, thanks for joining. Sent friend request. Invite to new company. Re inviting random people. This is a very good place to find people. We just need to have need to have people that are running around that aren't inactive. There's one. Okay, that one declined. Most of them will probably decline, let's be honest. <laughs> There's not a lot of people walking, actually. Need just one more person right now. Do it like that, but no one's uh, no one's responding actually. So it looks very crowded here, but that's because apparently all the servers are fused together in this city. Still need one. I got one random to sign my uh, petition. Right now I'm just clicking like crazy. Hey, wait. Refuses. Oh, I thought he signed it. Too bad. About that little goblin there. Stay still. Stay still. Stay. It's always been a problem finding to uh, trying to find or trying to f find trying to found a new free company. Appreciate your help. Like a lot of them are not from this server, so it doesn't work. On top of that, a lot of them are free uh, free trials as well, which also doesn't work. Science. There we go. We got three. Appreciate it. Let's run before. I'm not sure if you can withdraw your petition. 
So let's run for it. Yeah, we got three. I'm gonna run <laughs> in case they uh, withdraw the petition. Uh, where is it? This one. Change company tag. Um, we'll do that later. Guess we can go with final. Note that you've changed your free company's name. You may not do so again for 30 days. Okay, so we can change it always later. That's more than fine. Submit free company petition. 15k, sure. Free company formed. All right. Uh, front list, free company. Members. Junior. Discharge. You've been a great service to our company. Thank you. And slap that. You've also been a great service to our company. Thank you very much. There we go. You can stay in there if you want. Not sure if you'll use this character at all. <laughs> yeah, FC. That works. It's a shame that you cannot join uh, free companies from other servers like you can team up with me but you won't be able to communicate with me directly to our f chat i think free company chat which is something that is uh would have been nice if they implemented that topics there are no messages Welcome to. No, not welcome to. That's cheesy. There, that's even cheesier, but that will work. <laughs> Members. So we are now uh, officer and master. Short method applicants. Rank. Okay, so here I can decide what who gets who. Change hierarchy. Oh, that's fine. View only. So members can only view the box, but I can't like change this stuff. No. Okay. Oh, so link shells are able to communicate across servers? That'd be cool. Maybe you can make a uh, link shell. Actions. You have not authorized to execute company actions. Activity. Invo. Focus, roleplay, leveling, casual, hardcore, dungeons, skill tests, trials, raids, PvP, seeking, nothing really. Oh, well, accept applications. Uh, sure, confirm. Entitlements. We got a company chest. Or company chest. That's also one of the reasons I wanted to start a free company, get free bank access. Quite useful. Quite a few slots at that. Items, crystals, gill. So... Is there a way to increase the chests? Oh yeah, yeah, we level up the guild itself. Alright, makes sense. Yeah, I'm just dropping all my crafting ingredients that I've gathered so far in there for now. No, 
No, I haven't done my retainers yet. Um, I think I just gotten to the point where I can actually get my retainers. So, I still have to set that up as well. Like, I've done a lot of side quests, etc. And a lot of dungeons and leveling, etc. And whatnot. Um, but, I've tried to keep the uh, main quest to a minimum. Not per se by choice. It just happened to be so. So we leveled up quite quickly, despite our main quest slagging behind quite a bit. Quite a bit at uh, quite a bit at that. I do like how they improved the inventory space since last time I played this game. Okay, we can deposit some gill, I suppose. Yeah, so withdraw, deposit. Gonna deposit about 75,000, which is almost all I have. There we go. Ah, nice, yeah. I, I'm slacking behind. I don't think... I've, I've pre-ordered Dawn Trail, the clutch edition. It's inbound. But uh, I don't think I'll even be in... What is it? I don't think I'll even be in Stormblood by the time that hits. Then again, this character is not even two days old yet, so level 36 is not too bad. Uh, how many crystals do I have? I have no idea. gonna throw everything I have in there really these are shards are they not shards crystals and clusters yeah shards crystal clusters all right well I appreciate you for joining appreciate it for the subscription as well I will... What will I do? That's a question. I'm gonna do some bit more questing I was doing in Gridania, which is close by, luckily. I still need to get my chocobo as well. I don't have a mount yet. I mean, I have mounts, but I'm not allowed to mount one yet. I got Slepnir, I got the Mystic Panda. I got the Drought Chocobo. I think this one is from the uh, uh, Recruiter Friend. Because I got ten of these feathers as well. Where were they? Here we go, 10 golden feathers. Come on, some build friendship throughout the realm. These brilliant plumes can be exchanged at the Calamity Selvers for special rewards. I've recruited quite a few friends in the past, but I don't think that uh, event is active anymore. You absolutely go for it. I'm going to go back to Odin. I'm also going to sort out Link Shell. All right, yeah, just says, throw me an invite if you figured it out. Let's see if it can work. I got your main account. Uh, what do you call this? I got your main account. Uh, befriended. That's the word I was looking for. So that's one of the cool things about streaming. Is that I should probably mention that more while I'm doing dungeons, because it allows you to meet more people. So for anyone in my for anyone in my YouTube that wants to join if they're playing this game, you're free to join the free company. Is there a limit to how many people can be in there? 512. That's quite a lot. <laughs> that is quite a lot. Probably more than I'll find in this game. Have you brought me two toadstool caps? Each moment your daily deprives the realm of prodigious knowledge. Here you go, you got five. Yes, yes, hand it over now. But of course, it is just as I theorized. The spore density of the toadstools is ex exceptionally greater than the samples taken from before the calamity. Clearly, I have to evolve in such an order to adapt an increasingly harsh environment. <laughs> and with this, another entry of the neo yorkian geographic is complete. Um, where are you again? Really? 
or set will put you to work again, whether you like it or not. Research Assistant 6. Yes, I'm speaking to you. Research Assistant, assistant 6. That is a title I have deigned to bestow upon you after your humble contribution to my latest scientific breakthrough. Mind you, now that you're officially my slate, uh, research assistant, there will be no slack enough. I require a life lightning spark. Here's a jar, now hurry, if I haven't all day. <sighs> Makes me want to throw him down this uh, ramp here. And then bury him with tons of stone. Got this dude as well. You have my fangs, adventurer. Shroud hair, I see. I ask you only this, friend. Shouldn't you have the occasion to meet Marset? Speak nothing of this to her. She's a researcher of sorts, unusual creatures being her specialty. Where she catch the wind of her shroud hair lurking beneath, she would rip up every last plank to it nowhere to stand upon. The woman treats us as if the wood whalers were her personal laboratory assistants. I will stand for this no more. I keep my distance from her, and I will suggest you do the same. Okay, so we got these earrings, but again, they're not that great, because we have this super powerful earring we have here. Alamiga earrings. I don't know where I got this from, though. Recruit a friend as well, maybe? A toadstool? No, I need the spark. There we go. And what do I do with this? Weekend lightning spark. That's what it said, just didn't read it. The mere fact that you dare to interrupt me means that you must have the life lightning spark I require. Well, hand it over then. Yes, ma'am. Oh, aren't you a cute little one? I just think of all the fun I can have with you. Next assistant on dare sh Shirk his duties in quite for a shock. She's evil, man. Now where was I? I oh, asked yes, the toadstools. If my theories are correct, sending a shock through the toadstools will trigger a sense of danger, causing them to reproduce with an unheard of speed. Truly, my genius knows no bounds. To think what discoveries I could make if I had but a single competent assistant. You, assistant seven. Or was it four? Uh, whoever you are, be gone from my side and let me concentrate on for once. Great, now we get more side quests. They just keep popping like the toadstools they are. Hopperyout is suffering at the hands of the Taskmaster Marset. I swear to you, that woman is a fiend, a monster, a greater danger to this realm than all the beast traps put together, and then some. Why I speak of Marset, of course. No sooner did I return with 300 horned stingers she requested and sent me off on the conduct of water survey at Hopseed's Pond. In my condition, I'd like to fill in the first f face first and drown. My friend, I'm here too young to die. Please, say you'll help me. You must. Research Assistant 873, you're late. I'm conducting an experiment of the utmost importance to determine the source of the distinctive stink of Stropper's breath. Stropper's breath. Require one freshly extracted Stropper stomach. The stench is said to be strong enough to knock a man out. So, I shall provide you with a bottle of Merced's breath be gone. I know what you have been eating lately. Or you want to take a dose of it yourself? Oh, and I do not try to get killed, will you? Funeral rights for incompetent assistants are eating away at an inordinate share of my research budgets these days. Yeah, I, uh, poor guy. I can understand his sorrow. That woman is a fiend. The house that death built. We're gonna have to check that out as well. I think that might be the, uh, like I said, what is it? The palace? Uh... Crystal Palace. So are these Stropers? Yeah, Halio Stropers. Well, I got hit by that, really? There we go. Probably should have thrown it on them before I started the battle. Oh, 
that's gonna hit, isn't it? Yep. Run away. Oh wait, uh, new buddies, there we go. So the link shell works, I think. Um, did I join already? How does that work? Accept cross roll link shell invite. Sure. Yes. So, how do I. Is this one? Okay. No. I have to check how those link shells work. I guess here. Great, so link shells work. Cross world link shell one. CWLS one, I get it. I learn a little bit every day. Figured I was an ex well, like I said, I used to be a, quite a veteran of this game, having played Final Fantasy XI Alpha, uh, or Beta, um, and then 14 back when it was still not even a Realm Reborn. But if you haven't played an MMO for a couple of years, things do change quite a lot. So my new knowledge of things is very slim. So where are you from? Uh, Atlanta Viridi. Since you're learning German, I would assume you're at least somewhere from Europe. Judging from the uh, link uh, from the server you chose as well. UK, ah, that makes sense. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I guess that would be a convenient language to learn, or if you're from the UK. UK being obviously English, the first one. But uh, I guess German or Spanish then. Or French, maybe, even. I'm not sure what's the most common one in the UK. I was over in the UK in uh, October, actually. Last October. I was in, uh, what was it called? Tamworth. Near Birmingham. Visiting a friend of mine. And before that, it had been at least, I reckon, at least 25 years since I've been in England before that time. That time I was in London. I was about 10 years old or so. I had a great fun in England, though, not gonna lie. Mainly because my the, the English that I spoke was like... These people were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Tumworth being quite a bit of a backwater hole that it is. The uh, the English they used there, wow. They were using words I've never even heard of. Or maybe I heard of, but never used. I don't want to be research assistant 7, 12, or 43. I just want to go home. Mm, praise the gods, you're back. Were you able to complete the survey? Yes, I was. One true three samples from Hobson's Bond. Wonderful. I cannot thank you enough, though I cannot help but ponder what other back-breaking tasks might be in the future. Pluck the wisdom teeth of a gabu, procure a leaf from the trin's hat, gods only know. Grandfather, grandmother, can you hear me up there? Your dear grandson shall be joining you all too soon. <laughs> Birmingham, yeah. Like, I was going there for shopping, you know, grocery store, etc. And then I go, please go to the till. I'm like, till? What's a till? <laughs> you mean register? Yeah, till. Uh, okay. Guess I'll go there then. Or a uh, buff rope. Dressing gown. I swear I've never heard of a dressing gown before. It was great fun though. Visited a lot of pups with my friends. Da 
that's a good ring. We'll take the ring. What else did we have? Uh, a Tem. Tem being a buggy or a stroller. Like, I don't know these words. I thought my English vocabulary was quite well, but I didn't need any of these words. Assistant, whatever your number was, I haven't all week. You'd best have the stroper stomach I requested, or I do believe I shall use you in my innards as a substitute. Dressing gown for some reason gets called a house coat by some people. I can understand their reasoning for that. Yeah, for sure. House coat, but... Um, what do we call it in Dutch? Let's see. Uh... Well, if you translate it completely, it would be, be uh, a bath, bathroom coat or rope. Come here, yes. No, coat. Jacket. Bathroom jacket, basically. Bathroom jacket, if you translate it. Yes, yes, hand it over, will you? And, and the dissection reveals exactly as I surmised, which are proliferations and poisonous toadstools in the years since the calamity. The stroper's diet has undergone a dramatic change. The reaction of the toadstools with the stroper's stomach acids results in the noxious gases emitted from the mouth of the foul beast. With the groundbreaking discovery, I believe I owe you a prodigious mind, well-deserved respite. You, on the other hand, Researcher Assistant 6, have heard nothing of the sort. Get out of here and hone your skills that you might actually make yourself half useful the next time I call upon you. That's not a bad ring either. Strength, fatality, determination. Strength. Let's go with that one. Don't really have plans to go to the UK anytime soon, but uh, I might visit Germany. I have no idea what holds the future currently. Just saving money, really. I didn't even file for a, uh, for a holiday at this point. Not because I don't want to, it's just that I don't really have anything planned right now, so I'm like, yeah. Might as well not plan anything and see where things will go from here. Maybe I'll just take a break, just from work alone, because I am entitled to take a break. Even if I don't take a break, they'll still withdraw those days, so might as well. But I don't know when. I'd like to keep my options open, depending where we go with my girlfriend not. She says she wants to go somewhere, then we go somewhere. That's why I to keep, prefer to keep my free days open as much as I can. What else? A hero in the making, the house that death built. That's the one we need to go to. That was in? Yeah, that's in a place we haven't even been yet, so... Yeah, for sure. I'll take them. Because uh, otherwise they'll take them for me. Or I could just tell them, you know, pay them out instead, but having uh, holiday days being paid out is actually not beneficial, because you'll lose half of it to tax. But it's already April, so we're already four months in. Oh, brass band rehearsal, that's awesome. I got a CD with the, brand, uh, with the brass band from Final Fantasy music, that's so freaking cool. <laughs> Anyway, hope to speak. You, hope to see you around. Speak to you soon. Have a great day. I know you're currently one hour behind me, I believe. So, uh, good luck with your rehearsal. We'll talk further in the future. I'll have to pour myself a new drink as well, because my drink is empty. I got a glass here. If you guys see this glass, you might be thinking, is that a glass or is that a vase? It's a giant ass glass. <laughs> it's really big. Quite heavy as well. I dropped this a few times. It's indestructible, pretty much. But it's also pretty heavy. Got it from Ikea. I saw this thing. I'm like, wow, that's a giant glass. Most people, if they see this, they're like, is that your glass? Yep, that's it. Just too lazy to keep walking back and forth every time. 
I reckon it holds about 600 milliliters, so it's more than half a liter. Right, so that was a productive day. We got our free company up, met some new people, got a new sub as well. And it seems that we can level up our guild by just questing. Since we got 210 points, and I literally didn't do much. How do I see what members are, are uh, responsible for how much points? Company profile, not much. Standing, no. Well, I guess the order of the twin error is fine, but I'm, I'm a mortal flames myself. I guess it depends on where you do your quests. Oh, we got level up, sweet. I'm not gonna do the quests here. Just doing this particular one. And what is this? South Shroud, is it? Yeah, South Shroud. Any hunts here? South. Upper paths. Cat traps. That's where we are right now, actually. Is it? Should be around here. There we go. Long overdue, these ones. Overgrown offering is also here. Springs is also here. Oh, there's a lot of hunts here. I wonder if we can do the uh, class quest now already, the paladin one. Right, so that hunting done is overgrown offering. The house that death built. I'm quite interested in to see what this one leads to. I'm sorry, but I must insist that you... Oh, an adventurer. And a rather seasoned one looking besides. One of the chance you're not simply here to gob. Perhaps you'll lend a hand. You see, despite the fervent pr pr protestations of those desk whites over there, we cannot permit civilians without the runes in this time. Cable men and women like you, on the other hand, are more than welcome. That is, if you got the stones for it. Pray seek out the other stations at Quarry Mill. They can appreciate... Yeah, okay, Quarry Mill. That's over... Here. So it is probably that one that I just mentioned. The Crystal Palace. So we're looking for Overgrown. South Shroud Upper Paths. Well, that's where we are right now. So where are these guys? Basically, they're Ochu. We're looking for Ochus. I think they're here somewhere. Oh, choose, where are you? things. What dungeon is that one? 
Thousand Mo oh, forgot about that one. A thousand Miles of Total Rock. There's Overgrown Offspring. There we go. We need four of those. Then we got Balloons and Antler Springs. Oh, that's North Shroud. Wait, that's not where we are. South Shroud. Silent Arbor. That's what we need. So is that one? Silent Arbor. Where is that? There. Okay. That's where we're going, so... four hunts here in the South Shroud. Finally completing some of them. This one is a bit of a different dungeon though. The house that Death built. It's not your standard dungeon if you will. Gonna get this crystal, do this quest, go do these hunts, then get that crystal and then get the heck out of here. Well, adventurer, I take it you have come to learn of more recent happenings at least on Har. The site is interest owing to the Gomorian ruins. Gomorrah being an underground city which predates Gridania, in case you were unaware. And he wrote, a few days past, we received reports from several entro geographers in their magical gateway of some sort had appeared in the ruins, and all that manner of creatures were coming and going through it. My man and I were among the first to examine it, and well, it's hard to explain. We crossed the threshold into a set of corridors we'd never seen before. And then suddenly, each and every one of us would feel an inexplicable sense of dread. It was all I could do to take every single st even a single step. According to E. Unakotor, who accompanied us to the runes, that are warded with powerful magic that saps the spirits and evil in all who enter, rendering them easy prey for the creatures within. Thankfully, he managed to devise a solution. Evil pull arms and armor which safeguard and channel the wielder's energies and that they might withstand the runes' magic. Fortunately, it does little to prevent us from losing our way, though. I beggar belief... Beggars believe every time we have dared to venture into the ruins, we've found the path to be changed. We suspect that this too may be the work of an unfathomable powerful mage. Needless to say, something strange is afoot, and the traditional texts are not likely to suffice. Even experienced adventurers will need to proceed with caution. In any event, if you believe that you have ta if you have what it takes to brave the ruins and discover what secrets lies in the deepest depth, you need but to say the word. Crystal Palace, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Palace of the Dead. Well, close enough. <laughs> close enough. It is that one. I have memory of that place. Alright, now let's find our two hunts here. We're looking for Goblin Thugs and Corel Claw Cutters. Or Curl. I know the goblins are here somewhere. Goblins meet, probably there. Pass through here? Yes, we can. There's a little uh, bridge. So here's the goblins. There we go. It's 
It's because I'm doing all these optional things that I'm way too high level than I should be. Like everyone mentioning, yeah, go level, go class Paladin. Yeah, I can't. My main quest is too low. <laughs> We're level 37, and our main quest is level 20. Right, big jump in experience there. Now we need to find those curl claw. Okay, here we go. That person probably just killed the few I need. There's one. Don't attack me. I'm friendly. Don't attack me. How many of these do I need? Four. Takes care of that problem. Any shrouds left? Upper, upper, north shroud, Adler Springs. Did we go to the north shroud yet? I don't think we did, did we? That's east shroud. That's North Shroud, so no, we haven't been there yet. So, only one quest left, a hero in the making. That's why I'm not picking up all of these quests right now. If I start doing these, our main quest will be like level 50, but we haven't even done our main quest yet. Having said that, though, that was an interesting dungeon. The Sunken Temple of Quarn. There's a lot of loot there. And that loot was exactly what we needed at this level, because we were out-leveled, but our gear was kind of bleh. Actually, let me withdraw. Since we are level 35 now, or past level 35, we can do the new guild test. Glad we're a free company as well. Final end is final. Just gonna pick up that crystal or attune to the crystal. This is also an interesting camp due to it being on pillars. They say they're in need of tanks, yet yeah, the queue takes forever. I guess because I just started the party, but at least for the ones that are joining now, a random queue, they can join my party, I suppose. So the blue quests, if you just don't want to do all the unimportant side quests, these are the quests you do want to get, the one with the pluses on it. Because they give you stuff, access, items, New abilities. Got 34 Ephraite tickets remaining. That's not a lot. That's not a lot at all.
I remember. <laughs> that used to be a trick how I got people to watch my uh, videos. I would do, I had these macros, and it says started recording, like here in the text when I go into a PvP battle. And then at the end, I would say end recording. And people are like, what is that? I said, ah, that's me recording videos from a YouTube channel. <laughs> and a lot of people went over and checked it out. I wasn't recording, I was streaming. I mean, I wasn't streaming. I think I was recording. I'm not sure, actually. I don't remember. Something like that, at least, to lure them in. Vexus Jaeger. And we got three commendations from that last run. Thanks to uh, Rachel and our team. I thought I was going for 30 today, but we had been lucky with the commendations, so now we're all the way up at 40 already. Give me one second, guys, while we wait for the queue, because I'm going to get myself a drink. And I know this event will take quite a while, so we're going to have to cancel it out. And since I already did that once a day, three times, uh, three times you get a debuff. You can't join any parties. Be right back.
All right, I'm back, and it seems I missed my cue, so GG. I'm gonna re -queue for a second. I was in a conversation, so I'll be right back, guys.
This one has been like, ages since I've done this. This one's interesting because this one has the uh, RMN flowing around. I actually wasn't done, but I saw the queue pop up, so I'm gonna be AFK for a little bit after this, just for a minute.
I lost my son to the Calamity. The three Seed Seers are all together. Some say you couldn't take a step without stumbling over a body. Forebears were once strangers in the Twelves Wood. Fearful of the Green Wrath, they hid themselves in the dark recesses of the Earth. Yet they dreamed of basking in the dappled sunlight of the forest. Through great effort, they proved their worth to the Elementals, and were granted a place beneath the boughs. So it was that Gradania was born, some five centuries ago. Working hand in hand, the Hure and the Elizan settlers sowed the seeds of our civilization, and so nourished by the waters of unity, and blessed by the light of the Matron, Gridania flourished into the great nation it is today. Do you see the Gridanian standard? There, hanging behind the Elder Seed Seer. The entwined serpents represent the unity between Hure and Elizen. An elegant symbol, do you not agree? In accordance with the will of the Elementals, we have embraced a life of peace. Alas, our neighbors have not always sought the same for themselves, nor for us. Gridanians have no love for war. We have still less for those who would threaten our way of life. Ever have we fought to protect the sanctity of the Twelveswood. When the Garlean Empire brought its war of conquest to Eorzea, we rallied under the noble standard of the Twin Adder that we might push back the encroaching darkness. And it was we who prepared the ground for the reformation of the Eorzean Alliance, that all the peoples of this realm might stand united against the common threat. Five years ago, the Alliance met the armies of the Empire upon the fields of Cartano. It would prove the bloodiest battle in recent memory. Countless Gridanian lives were lost. As Supreme Commander of the Order of the Twin Adder, ever shall I bear the weight of our people's sacrifice. Alas, their loss was not the only tragedy to befall us that day, for soon came the Calamity. The scars borne by our forest are a constant reminder of its violence. Our lives have been irrevocably changed, each waking hour a struggle to survive.
driven to desperation. Some among us have strayed from the path of righteousness, resorting to banditry, poaching, and other unconscionable deeds. To compound our woes, the Ixul have returned in force, emboldened by our suffering. They test our defenses nigh without cease, and prey upon the vulnerable. So beleaguered from within and without, it is of little wonder that our unity now falters. Dark times are upon us. Time was a man could a walk the high roads itself. without fear. On this day, five years ago, countless Eorzeans laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. Please. And how do you propose to honor the memory of those you cannot remember, pray tell? The destruction wrought by the Calamity was indiscriminate. It dealt death to Eorzean and Garlean alike. Yet while we have labored to rebuild our homes, to rebuild our lives, the Empire has set about raising steel fortresses here in the Twelveswood. Let none be mistaken. The Garleans remain the greatest threat to our survival. If we are to stand against them, we must remember what it is to be united. Our many troubles blind us to the woes of our fellow man. Thence is harmony lost. Yet harmony is the founding principle of Gridania. We are gathered here to honor the fallen. Let them be honored not only in word and thought, but through concerted action. I bid you join hands with me once more beneath the Twin Adder standard. And together, let us heal the forest's wounds that our progeny might live in harmony beneath these ancient boughs. For serenity, purity, and sanctity. We must think of the children. Woods will be done. It's up to us to protect the forest. All the elementals. If you'll permit me, Alfie, no. And my sister, Alizé, at your service. I saw at a glance that you were a fellow traveler. You might call us students of history, sampling the realm's remembrances in pursuit of enlightenment.
The Gridanians are unfortunate enough to have content with two beast tribes. The Ixil are unquestionably the more troublesome, being of a natural warlike disposition and won't have summoned their bloodthirsty primal Garuda. The Sylphs, by contrast, are peaceful in nature, being mischievous rather than malevolent, and have long been on friendly terms with Gridanians, until recently at last. At last they have grown aloof, a change observed at roughly the time they summoned the primal Ramu. The Gridanians have no love of war, and they consider open conflict as a last resort. Though they clash with the Exil ever more regularly, you may be assured that they do so in self-defense. As for the Sylphs, they are as yet to be bound by peace treaty. They are as yet bound by a peace treaty, though one wonders how long it will be before it is broken. The Twelfth Wood was grievously wounded during the Calamity, leaving Gridania vulnerable to attack. The people are hopeful that restoring the Wood and thereby the power of the elements will put an end to their bows. Yet how long will it take? Centuries, at wager. Meanwhile, the Exile will continue the incursion, spurred on by Garuda and her insatiable appetite for destruction. Whether the Gridanians like it or not, sooner or later will come to an all-out war, and when it does, the Order of Twin Adder will need all the help it can muster. How valuable might the aid of a cap capable adventurer prove to them, then? Alright, well that was the first part. That was the one of Ula. Great speech, to be honest, but uh... We're looking for something else. Uh, let's see. We don't have to do them in order, I suppose. Limsalo Minsa, the lower decks. Maybe the person so has to load. There we go. Z what is it called? Zavat. Zenviel. Here to attend to resemblance service. Be quick. The Admiral is due to give her addresses at any moment. Brothers and sisters of the sea, hearken unto me. Look upon this, our mighty crimson standard, and tell me your hearts do not swell with pride. Seven hundred summers have come and gone since our forefathers first ran aground in this fertile bay. In that time, Guided by the Mother of Oceans, Limsa Lominsa has grown from humble fishing village to uncontested ruler of the five seas and beyond. Did you look as the Admiral bid you? It is a rather stirring standard, I must say. The Crimson Field is meant to signify the blood of fallen crewmates, while the Black Longship represents a pirate vessel.
When the Galian Empire marched upon Eorzea, we assembled beneath the Maelstrom Standard, and our grand company was reborn. All answered the call, from the Knights of the Barracuda to Hilthia's bloody executioners. And together, we met our would-be conquerors upon the field of Cartano. That day, the world bore witness to the united strength of Limsa Lominsa. I swear to you, no army ever fought harder or with more courage. Yet many of ours did not survive. Join me now in remembering those who fought in the name of freedom and fell. May their souls be returned to the sea. Freedom. Yes, they have always been rather fond of their freedom. Much as the beast tribes have. A small wonder. Beneath the surface, one would struggle to tell them apart. It has been five long years since the calamity struck. Five long years of tireless rebuilding. Yet still, the wounds of the calamity fester and weep. But when I stand atop the mizzenmast and gaze out upon our battered and broken vessel, I see an undying spirit. Did we not build all this from the wreck of the Galadian all those centuries ago? Shall we not do so again? Yet there are those who would see this ship of ours sink beneath the waves of the restless Rotano. The Sahagin creep ashore, seeking blood for their accursed god. Those fish buck the bastards. The Sahagin have risen? While the mines of Ogomoro spew forth kobolds who push ever south, despoiling our lands as they go. These savage beast tribes will be the first waves to crash against our creaking hull. And behind them swells the grim tide of the Garlean Empire. Even now, the Kurs fly their flags within our borders. Doubt not, but that they will be upon us ere long. We are well nigh surrounded. Yet there are those among us who would rather turn their swords against their crewmates than our cannons against our foes. How can we hope to repel our many enemies when mutiny breeds below deck? There is but one course left to us. One bearing that will bring us victory over the beast hordes and the Empire both. And see this ship, we must mend the rift the Calamity has reopened twixt Pirate and Maelstrom. And stand fast with our adventurer brothers against the coming Tempest. Mark ye well, a crew without unity is no crew at all. Tis but a mass of drowned men. To me, then, brothers and sisters of the sea, gather beneath the undying Crimson Standard and pledge me your strength, your skill, your wisdom. And with the guidance of the Navigator, this great vessel of ours shall ride the waves till sea swallows all. Long live the Admiral! Admiral Vib! Gather the lads! Oh, where's me cutlass? I'll follow ye to the seven hells, Admiral. <laughs> One of them was shouting, where's me cutlass? I like that saying, though, till sea swallows all. Fancy meeting you again. As the Admiral mentioned in her address, Limsa Lominsa is plagued by two beast tribes. First are the fish-like Sahagin, worshippers of the primal Leviathan. The second are the kobolds who dwell beneath the earth and take the primal titan to their god. 
As if the beast tribe's uh, presence weren't troublesome enough, the Garleans have also chosen to erect a fortress right in Lomincian's backyard. And that is to say not of the eternal strife. As nations of pirates, there is no end to the blood feuds between the various factions, and while they fight amongst themselves, the Garleans wet their blades and watch. If the Lomincians are to have any hope with stunning the Empire, they must first resolve their own affairs. Differences must be set aside and their primal threat dealt with once and for all. To this end, I expect that they will soon take the decisive action against the beast tribes. Mark my words, the Maelstrom standard will be drenched a deeper shade of crimson ere long. There's a capable adventurer that a capable adventurer like you would be a devalued addition to their crews beyond question. Sorry, still going with the flames. Always went with the flames. I don't think I've ever chosen another one. Just because of the story, the story that I know that is coming up in the near future, it, it's more fun to be flame. Though it's already very little, but it's the little details that are fun. Alright, let's also check up on the Gladiator's Guild. Let's see if we can become a paladin or not. Mates Cafe, Dark Crown Nights, tonight, 5 p.m. <laughs> People are advertising Mate Cafes in this game. <laughs> okay. I mean, why not, right? People want to see Mate Cafe, then. Be my guest, though, it says 5 p.m. 5 p.m. server time. I mean, you... Isn't that very old? Tonight, 5 p.m. ST, what is that? Server time. Eorgian time? Local time? Server time. It's already 5 p.m., so it's already undergoing. Any in the chat want to see the mate cafe? We can drop by if you want. That lich. Ah, oh, no, I don't know how to do that. Never mind. Maybe some other time. It's kind of funny that people are doing that, to be honest. Royal Promenade. The Chamber of Rule? Wait, uh, we're going to the Gladiator's Guild first. These steps of fall. Alright, uh... Yeah, see, there's no quest available yet, so I couldn't even become a paladin, even if I wanted to. Might be after this one, a hero in the making. Let's see how Rauban gives a speech. I mean, he is a flame general. He's the only one that actually sees combat from time to time, I suppose. Or at least he's always the one fighting on the front. The other one's a healer, and the other one... Merle Whip, I don't know, ranged unit. Let's see, Raubon. Behold, tis the Sultana Nanamo herself! And Raubon as well! Hark you, souls of flame! Drawn to the bosom of the desert, where the fire burns brightest and shall rage forevermore. Hurrah! Rauban! Where since antiquity, under the sage and judicious rule of the Ul dynasty, we have wrought sand into gold. Where by the grace and glory of Naldar have our brave sons and daughters flourished and prospered. I speak of Uldar! There, at the Flame General's back, flies the Grand Company's standard. Note the sigil. The golden scales of order balance the jewel of prosperity with the flame of might. Great and many are the gifts our nation has given the realm. In Eorzea's darkest hour, 
on the killing fields of Cartano, none spent more in blood and gold than we. Thus was the Seventh Imperial Legion laid low. So that's how it happened. How soon history forgets. Yet many left our gates never to return. Let us pray for our absent brothers and sisters, that they might know happiness in the great beyond, as Thor's honored guests. If the fates were fair, the price we paid that day would have bought us victory. Alas, they are not. And now, but five years into this seventh umbral era, the spirit of sacrifice which granted us our strength is all but dead. Look around you. What do you see? A people divided, downtrodden, and enthralled. Where are the merciful alms of the rich? Where is the just steel of the righteous? I ask you, is this the great nation our brothers and sisters gave their lives to save? You who call this living, dishonor the name of the immortal flames. It is but a slow death. Our enemies surround us. The savage hordes of the Amalja wait beside our roads, strangling the lifelines of trade. Meanwhile, the Garleans make mock of our borders and despoil our land of its natural wealth. We stand on a precipice, yet we do not act, whether trader or soldier. Monetarist or royalist, all must recognize that a divided Uldar stands to fall. Victory and fortune walk hand in hand. Ye who seek glory and wealth, look not to what little you can snatch from your neighbor, but to the boundless wealth of the world beyond. Now is the time to unite. Now is the time to ride forth. In the name of the Sultana, I beseech you! Line not your own coffers, but those of the immortal flames! Seek not to prosper from Uldar, but to restore her to prosperity! As the realm prospers, so shall Uldar! As Uldar prospers, so shall her people! Ya for Uldar! Together we are one! Your grace. Raubon? People of Uldah, I, Nanimo, 17th in the line of Ul, address you. Much has been made of the wealth of Uldah. Yet those who measured that wealth in coins and carrots are gravely deceived. For the true wealth of Uldah lies in the health, happiness, and hopes of her people. Beloved subjects, I bid you raise aloft the torch of Uldah, that her flames might serve as a beacon for all Eorzea to see. Long live Nanamo! Glory to the Sultana! For victory and fortune, stride fearless into the inferno, for we are... By fire reborn! Forsooth! The time is now! I believe! I believe. Fancy meeting you again.
The Old Ones have a long history of conflict with the Amalja, the beast tribe that worshipped the primal Ifrit. Judging by your look of distaste, I take it you have encountered them. Encountered them and slaughtered them? The Old Ones are not shy from confrontation. If all threatens their precious prosperity, prosperity, they will seek to crush it. So they have they so have they dealt with the freak thus far, smothering his flames each time he stroke to life. Yet, yeah, but he is one of several problems. Though we've been quiet these past five years, the guardians have not gone away. Meanwhile, refugees continue to arrive in droves, and Ulda has no clear policy on how to deal with them. After all, not even the Sultanate's covers are bombless, and even assuming they had the coin, resources would be finite. It brings me back to the subject of Ifrit. It has been observed that the Amalja summoning him with ever increasing frequency. Every time they do so, the Uldan send their forces to smite the primal, and they... And though they invariably succeed, each victory is brought with blood. It is a war of attrition which they cannot well sustain. Small wonder then that the, U the immortal flames are eager to recruit more members. At such desperate hour, an adventure of your experience would be most welcome addition to their ranks. For their sake, I hope the Flames General's worth struck a chord with you. Bye, uh... Alfie now. Nah. Vexus, this is Menphilia. You are well, I hope. Would I be correct in thinking that the final remembrance service has now been concluded? A moment ago, you say? What a coincidence. Jesting aside, I trust you remember our guests from the Grant Companies? Well, delighted though we are to have them here at the Walking Sands, I would not do to keep them in suspense any longer than necessary. In short, hurry back. Right, I'm back. Sorry. There were some things going on in the background here that needed taken care of. Try and multitask. Um. Yeah. There we go. I was thinking what I was going to do, but. Long live the queen. Oh, that's the bomb one. I remember that one. That's an interesting one. That one's perfect for, uh. Leveling your spirit bond on weapons. That's the one I used to do a lot. Welcome back, Vexus. We're the Grant Company leaders. Words as illuminating as they had hoped. Aye, every nation is beset with problems. I trust you see now where your services are in such demand. Would that there were more of you, Vexus. But you must be tired from your journey. Why don't you rest a while and take up a moment to reflect on your decision? Once your mind is made up, pray give the Grand Company officers your answer. only know what grand company our adventurer friend will keep. Hm. 
the wheels of change are in motion regardless. Brother, are you certain this course is best? Whatever do you mean, dear sister? The so-called remembrance ceremonies were little more than standard waving rallies, as though the Calamity and Seventh Umbral Era warranted scarcely a mention. Well, of course they were standard waving rallies. Since you are so observant, mayhap you noticed what mention was made of the Warriors of Light? None. I suppose they must have forgotten the heroes who spared Eorzea a fate worse than the Calamity? No, dear Alizé, they haven't forgotten these details. They have elected to omit them. Deep are the wounds the Calamity inflicted upon Eorzea. So deep, in fact, that the realm still bleeds. Needless to say, the Beast Tribes and their Primals do little to alleviate the pain. So, the task of salving Eorzea's wounds falls to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, with a little help from our friends, the Grand Companies. Remembrance will yield no remedy. If our world is to heal, we must put the horrors of the Calamity behind us. Father would never entrust the fate of the realm to despots who rewrite history to their convenience. Their grandfather being Louis Swap. The Archon. There must be another way to cure what ails this world, and I mean to find it. You are most welcome to try. Our paths may differ, but our destination is the same. In time, I dare say we will see eye to eye. I should hope so. Bye, Alice. I won't be seeing you for a very long time. Hope does not come into it. We share the burden of this fate, dear sister, and will prevail together or not at all. The salve will serve not only to close up our present wounds. prevent old ones from opening a new one. All right, so we choose the one we want. Flame officer. Welcome back, adventurer. I take a General Raubon's word, kindle the fire within you? Yes. Excellent. I fear the incident with the traitor might have soured her opinion of us. It glands me to see this isn't the case. Before you can count your one of your own, you must formally induct into our ranks. The Mortal Flames Recruitment Officer seems eager to welcome you to Uldan's Grand Company. Please proceed to the Hall of Flames and identify yourself to the Personnel Officer. I will notify him of your coming. With your strength joined to ours, we shall surely prevail over our enemies, be they Beastmen or Imperials. I guess we can just return. Company you keep. Immortal Flames accepted. What brings you to the Hall of Flames this evening, adventurer? My name is Vexus Jaeger. I believe you are expecting me. As I thought as March, you are just a m You are just our man at walking the sands described. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Now, in order to formalize your... Sir! Speak, Private. 
Imperial, sir. They fired on the high wind skyways airship. Scout says she's coming down to west near Horizon's Edge. Bloody hells. Of all the times for this to happen. Vexus, there's no time for formalities. The immortal flames need your help now. We're in the midst of a large scale operation against the Amalja, and we have no one to spare in the Western Felon. You must get to the ship before the Garleans do. If there are any survivors, see that they do not come to further harm. Now go. So I'm not part of the uh, crew just yet. But we're already giving, being given orders. Great. I'm sure we can just walk there. It's not that far. So down there then. No. Could be. No. I don't know actually. The airship is over there. That's here. Airship crewman. Hello, I know you. Gotta cancel the duty finder then. That thing just takes forever, doesn't it? Adventurer, what are you doing out here? No, wait, let's find some cover first. The immortal flames sent you. How do I know you're not an imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. No, I know. We're right here to vouch for me, I guess. Are you alright, sir? The scouts reported the attack on our craft. We came to rescue you. Vexus Jaeger, yes? Glad to have you with us. Well, that proves it. I like how their uniform is just a loose shirt. I guess it's because of the bloody heat of the desert. I've not seen a craft of design before. The Trader Garland has been busy. The secrets of Magiduck are ours by right. They are not to be squandered upon by the savages on this land. Oh no! We're taking the craft back to the fortress. Dismantle it as you must and bring the engineer. Someone must pay for Garland's crimes. They mean to take the ship back to Kestra Meridium, along with your friend. Wedge, you have to help him. The fool of Alalafil was hiding inside the tiny Bronco. 
Nice looking ship, though not the best place to have taken shelter, I agree. It's the first airship we've built since the Calamity, the first since Master Garland. Well, since he went missing. After years of work, she was finally ready for her first test flight. She was soaring, she really was, till those bastards blasted her out of the sky. We attack on my command. Kill them quickly and save the Lalafell if possible. If possible. Is that clear, Vexus? Show them what becomes of those who played with fire. Charge! How about you help us, big guy? We're under attack! Two arms! Killing all his lackeys first. There we go. All that's left is the Decurion. What are you doing? Killed him myself. Who are you talking to, buddy? Where's the bloody Vanguard? We need it now! Haha, <laughs> showed him no mercy. Vanguard now. Where are you going? Duty complete. Did we lose a unit? I'm not sure. No, there were three of them. Biggs! Yeah, that's their names. Biggs and Wedge. Reference to Star Wars. It is, actually. Wedge, you shouldn't have stayed with the ship. That was a close one. Too damn close. So how does she look, anyway? The auxiliary propeller is at that loss, but I think we can bring enough trust for the main propeller to get us airborne. Few minor modifications and we should be able to fly the tiny Bronco home. The Imperials will come looking for their scouts, but we can defend this position until the engineers leave. Should go, Vextus. You still have unfinished business to attend at the Hall of Flames. You're not quite one of us yet, though anyone would see though anyone who'd seen you in action today would be forgiving for thinking otherwise. I just wanted to say sorry, you know, for calling you an Imperial spy and all that. Got that one wrong, didn't I? Ha, <laughs> seriously though, if it hadn't been for you and the Immortal Flames lads, lads here, we'd be chained up in a dungeon by now. I mean your debt, friend. We both are. Wedge? Thank you, we're very grateful. Speak with the personnel officer at the Hall of Flames. Where 
Where's my local time? There we go. It's already 8 o'clock. Probably won't be streaming for very much longer. I got pizza incoming later on. It's a player. I thought she killed one. I thought someone died there. Just a dead marmot. Welcome back, Vexus. Word of your deeds in the field reached me not long ago. Exemplary, exemplary service. Rest assured that the Garland Iron Works engineers are fine. They were able to get their vessel back in the air before Imperial reinforcements arrived. Your willingness to assist on such a short notice is to be commanded. Clearly your reputation is well deserved. Now then, I believe we shall have unfinished business. Shall we continue from here, where we left off with induction of the immortal flames? Yes, sir. This dude. The personal officer stands ready to complete your induction into the ranks. Are you ready, Vexus? Then let us begin. Vexus Jaeger, you stand poised to enter a sacred trust. The flames of Ulda burn bright, casting light where the air is dark and purging evil where it lurks. We are ready to meet the nation's enemies in battle, be they beastmen, garlians, or worse. One and one at a word from Flame General Raubon Eldin, we will gladly lay down our lives to maintain the peace and prosperity of Ulda. To join our ranks, you must forsake all other nations. Only then may you commit yourself to the fire and be reborn as an immortal flame. Burn as one of us, Vexus Jaeger, and together we shall cleanse. We shall chase the darkness from Ulda. Will you swear an oath to mark this occasion? My sword belongs to Ulda. Spoken like a soldier. You'll do well here. Very well, your resolve is plain. Vexus Jaeger, I hereby confer upon you the rank of Flame Private First Class. Third Class, sorry. Welcome to the Immortal Flames Private. May you fight to the last for coin and country. Yay, we learned a new emote, the Flame Salute. Can you hear me, Vexus? This is Minthilia. An officer of Immortal Flames contracted me the news that you enlisted. My congratulations, Private Jaeger. I have no doubt that you are eager to make the acquaintance of your new comrades, but I would ask you to pay your f pay a visit to your old ones first. Remember, though you are now a flame of Ulda, you are no less a scion. 
Pray return to the walk in sense at your earliest convenience. There are some friends who would, I would very much like you to meet. We shall be waiting. It seems your presence is required elsewhere. But before you leave, perhaps you could find a moment to speak with Commander Swift. He's not one to see new recruits to go into the field unprepared. There he is, that guy. Quest accepted. You may now access the quest, My Little Chocobo, Immortal Flames, by speaking with Swift. The quest must be completed the quest must be completed in order to proceed to the end of the main scenario for a realm reborn. Immortal Flames. Light my fire. Achievement unlocked. Flame Private Third Class. So we have both a free company and a grand company. We immortal flames fight to proceed fight to protect Uldar from all who would threaten her. Ever do we ever do we swear to uphold our oath for coin and country. Pop no long okay, what is all this? So many quests, let's see. My little chocobo, that's important. Swift believes you should get yourself a chocobo. I agree. Private Jaeger, yes? A moment of your time, if you please. Wish to carry out your duties swiftly, do you not? Well then perhaps you should get yourself a chocobo. If you're interested, the Immortal Flames will furnish you with one. It's not a complex process, but it does require some paperwork. First, speak with the Quartermaster to obtain a Flame Chocobo Assurance. You need to exchange company seals in order to do so. Once you've received your insurance, show it to Mimi Gun by the Gate of Nald. He'll be the one to furnish you with a bird. Secondly, Swift would have you begin your training in earnest. I don't know what that is, but that's a lot of points. Private Jaeger, I've been keeping a close eye on you of late. Your efforts in behalf of Ulda do us all proud. Yes, I understand now what Flame General saw in you. It would not be an understatement to say that your future of a grand company is riding on your capable shoulders. And yet, it is clear to me that you have only begun to tap into the depths of her potential. Your flame burns strong, but it may grow yet stronger. Yes, I would see you become a blazing inferno that reduces all that opposed Ulda into smoldering embers. It is with such hope that I have made arrangements for you to receive training at Wolf's Den. A proving ground established by the Yorjin Alliance for the training of Grand Company recruits. Mayhaps you are familiar with it. The look in your eyes tells me you are eager to take the road. I knew I had not misjudged you. The Wolf's Den is to be found just off the shores of Lanoskea. The ferry at Morabi Dry Docks in Lower Lanoskea will grant you passage there. Upon your arrival, seek out the storm captain, Brakuia Lutitian. I don't know how to pronounce that. I've already taken the liberty of submitting a letter for recommendation on that for your behalf. But no longer. That's PvP, isn't it? Let me see how much a chocobo license is. So it used to be 2,000. Of that I am certain. Apply for a promotion. Need a lot of, yeah, current seals. Guess we need a quartermaster. It's only 200. Wow. That became cheap. That used to be 2,000. Positive. So starting going forth now, if we encounter some fates, we'll start doing them because fates will give us Grand Seal companies, and Grand Seal companies will allow us to level us into a higher rank of the uh, Grand Company. I'm not sure what's the max rank at this point. It used to be first lieutenant for a very long time, and I mean a very long time. This one, second flame lieutenant. I'm not sure if you can go further now already. Alright, um... Uh, 
achievement unlocked. There we go. Mapping the realm. Did they already unlock the hunting log for uh, the Grand Companies? That's my question. I did. Okay, so we're now at whatever you call this place. Lower Lanoskea. Is there anything here? None of these. How about my gladiator one? Upper, upper, north shroud, eastern, outer, nope. No crystal there. There is a crystal there though. Can't wait to get my chocobo. Doing this one gives me 1400, which is more than enough. Is there, there should be a cap on how much, um, how many seals I can carry. I think it was five grand. Currencies, currencies, where's my currencies? Ten, ten grand. I think that level increases though. Can't the men just jump down? This is the biggest dry dock in the game, I think. Petra Potter. Oh no, <laughs> it's an Harry Potter fan. 48, and you haven't even gotten this thing yet? Holy moly. I thought I was slow. To the wolf stand, please. Test your skills at PvP. Yeah, I know. Wow. This is busy. I mean busy. I, I mean, I did PvP a lot back in the old day. And... It wasn't very popular. Let me put it like that. 
Holy moly, this is a lot of people. Never seen so many people in the PvP ever. Even the PvP at Gamescom wasn't popular. I never got that, because I really did like the PvP. So have you come to deal with me? My apologies, you have the look of a man who enjoyed the thrill of a fight, and I thought perhaps you'd come to challenge me. For good reason, I might add. You see, the Maelstrom recently opened up a new sparring ground of sorts, right there on this pier. Now adventurers can go toe-to-toe -to -toe without climbing down into the pit. I was all but certain you most likely look like everyone else, eager to earn a notch in your belt. I haven't the skill nor the courage to put up a fight, but you also look like a man who's wetter than a fair share of battles. Perhaps you'd like to test your metal in the rain? Now with me. Not with me, of course. The officer who sees the area arena is just over there. Doubtless she's happy to tell you about it. Just look to the rightful stair. Always look out on fresh blood, or so they say. <clears throat> so here you can do PvP. Is PvP enabled the moment I step in, or what? No, it's just duels. What do we have here? Level 35. I could do that, I guess. What's this? Another wolf pup itching to get in the ring, are you? Well, if it's your blood you're after and you need it quick, might you can slick your first here. If you go rushing off to yourself bludgeon, though, there's rules to be learned. Don't you worry. None let. I'll teach you all you need to know. Appreciate that, but I won't need to. <clears throat> we'll get that in the future. Some PvP. Really looking forward to that, actually. Yeah, it's never been this active before when I played it, that's for sure. It's all augmented gear, that's just for looks. Well, that is just for looks as well. Is that all it's good for now? Just looks. This one's level 50. Level 50 as well. Level 50 as well. Oh, this goes up though. Item level's 100. This is only 55. Two hundred and five, level sixty. So is that the best then? I guess it is. I don't recall seeing your ugly mug around here. Hmm. Yeah, that's Swift sent. Yeah, he did say he was sending a new wolf to the den. Bah. Or like the run of the litter, if you ask me. You barely have fangs or honing, but I guess I'm feeling goddamn generous. So I'll throw you a bone. Start yourself off with a crystalline conflict. Them training bouts are made special for feckless adventurous type who can tell sound strategies from a horse ours. Still reckon it won't be midday before you run home with your tail between your legs, crying for your mum? We can have a word with Lieutenant Gungi Zulungi if you insist on giving it a go. You'll find him outside, assuming you can work up the nerve. Stand up straight, maggot. This ain't no place for a weak spine dismissed. PvP unlocked. Crystalline Conflict unlocked. I remember that one.
You look to be spoiling for a fight, newcomer. Not that I blame you. Most everyone Captain Sense my way is. You do well to fend some of that pent up rage in a metro tree of crystalline conflict. It's the latest, greatest, and most exhilarating tactical training you'll find this side of the front line. You may think me blessed, given that I am the one who came up with the rules, but nothing could be further from the truth. We received countless calls to add more strategic elements to our training skirmishes, you see, and I simply put the entirety of my considerable skill towards running them. Crystalline conflict matches challenge you to main control over an all-important freight, which you must transport safely to the designated location, amidst the heat of battle. I even designed special arenas to repeat magic mechanisms to keep you on your toes. The picture interest? My first recommendation is that you learn the rules of it entirely. That should be pulverized the moment you step into the field. But fear not, I am more than happy to discuss them at any time. Just throwing in there straight away? I guess. What is this though? Don't think I've ever played this one. You gotta stay near the crystal and then it will go one way or another. Crystalline Conflict allows you to take part in small scale 5 vs 5 tactical skirmishes. Can be accessed via the PvP section of the Duty Finder. Hello, Softnox. Softnox comes to Wolf Place. Learn to uplanders have many hurt humps for fighty play. Softnox chance for busy deal. Offer Gobo's hand landing for uplanders to have better fighty play. Crunch bone and smash steel minchly. Now, new fighty play is born. Name of rival wings. Machina of God make help uplanders make munch mayhem together. If Uplander wishes to fill the brain case with knowing of rival wings, Softnox happy to give many flat tongue flaps. The only one I remember is like a domination, you have to take control of certain points and keep them. What's that it? It's been so long, I honestly don't remember at all. I don't know this one either. This League of Legends. It might very well be actually. Rival wings unlocked. Duty Fighter's been updated with a new regular duty. Yeah, we're not gonna go into the PvP just yet, but it's it's interesting. I tuned that crystal, didn't I? Well, I hope I did. Very important. Let's get that flame chocobo license. So let's check. There was a quest here. Where is it? Here we go. Mimi mio mio. 
Lieutenant Mimio is looking for a few good soldiers, like civilized men and women, immortal flames. Ah, Private Jaeger, if you have a moment, I would discuss a matter of most grave which concerns the flames and by extension you. Perchance you're familiar with the Battle of Cardano? Countless Eorsians and Guardians massacred by an elder primal. End of an era and so forth? Good. For a moment I feared you had been living in a cave for the past five years. <laughs> then surely you know that the Cardano Flats, where the battle took place, is a hellish wasteland littered with the remnants of fateful day. Hardly anything of consequence to be found there now, eh? Certainly worth protecting, and yet in spite of that, the Eorsian Alliance continues to maintain a military presence in the region. We why do you suppose that is? Because there is something there is of consequence. Elegant ruins, to be precise. They were discovered along with following the calamity, and allied scholars have been studying them ever since. Three nations work in tandem for greater good. It should come as no surprise that it would not last. You see, Ulda, Limsalominsa, and Gradania have all formally asserted their claim to the territory. Negotiations? Wow. Negotiations have thus far proved fruitless, and so we're at to settle the dispute on the field of battle. Oh, but do not misunderstand, we will be going to war with our allies. Hostilities shall be confined to dispute territories, and we shall fight a submission, not death. So there's no cause for concern. Oh no, you won't be expected to kill your opponent, merely deprive him of the will to fight. <laughs> I say you, because the only reason I deign to share this information with you is because the company needs you, private. We'll be damned if we're going to let a foreign power lay claim to these runes. And so we need every able soldier we can muster on the front lines. I expect you still have questions and concerns? Very well. Speak with our man at the airship landing. He will tell you everything you need to know. Alright. First, let me get my chocobo license. Look at these long ass messages. Jeez. Nurse event. What is all this, man? Kitten concert. Ca People are role playing the, sh the heck out of this server. <laughs> it's kind of cool, though. Not gonna lie. Hey, Mimi Gun. Want a birdie, should you say? You'll need to see your flame issued chocobo license. Well, here it is, sir. Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with your chocobo. See ya. There he is. And there he is. The fellow has been high spirits for the past few bells. He must have sensed his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, you want to give your noble steed a name. Quack. I think I can only choose two words, right? Or can I actually choose an entire name? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Name your chocobo. Or oh, here it is, chocobo. Quack. Name. Oh, I can put a full name in there. Hmm. Let's go with Salandus. Yes. Quack. Oh, Chocobo. Uh, I dare say he likes his name. Here's your very own Chocobo whistle. Simply bow into it and your feathered friend will come find something to your sight. Do forgive me does not respond with summoning crowded cities, areas, or monster infested lairs. Chocobos are stout hearted creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with a Chocobo Rider license, as I required by law. That concludes all the formalities. I wish you and your Chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. Yay, we got ourselves a Chocobo. And with that, I believe the right to mount any mounts we have right now with us. Let me get a few mounts out. There we go. Oh, 
What else do we have? For Cornian Country, this one. Speak with the Free Brigade Flyer at the airship landing. Quest, my feisty little chocobo. That's one I should be going straight up, because that allows us to fight with our chocobo. Private Jaeger, come to join the fight, have we? Very good, very good indeed. I think this is the one I'm familiar with. Yes, this is the one. With the notes on top, isn't it? And a massive note in the middle. Other guy PvP armor on. That guy right there. The one with the brown uh, lion head. Now, before we proceed, I must warn you, there's going to be likely some John in the wolf's den. You'll be pitted against wave after wave of fellow Alliance member in battle, and they won't care one hit whether you're the warrior of light. The campaign will be long and brutal, and victories will one today may be undone tomorrow. Consider the Borderland Ruins, we need only seize control of each ruin in the region, right? Wrong. Defense is paramount as well, for our rivals will muster the forces to challenge our claims. So for that reason, we have established an air route direct to the front line. Those who are ready and willing will to fight will never want for transportation. Ah, but the look on your face bespeaks confusion. Are we not at war? Well, this is bollocks about no killing. What in the seven hells is going on? And what are you thinking, yes? It's less a war and more organized violence to resolve the terrorist territorial dispute, and yes, it will be civilized violence, killing Alliance members is strictly prohibited. Though accidents have been known to happen, mind you. But you of all people have nothing to fear. You've escaped death certain more than times than I can count. What are the odds you feel to do this so time, eh? Right. So we now have three different kinds of PvP, it seems. Crystalline, Frontline, and Rival Wings. And for some reason, ah, okay. They're uh, currently overseeing PvP, so it's not available or whatever, something along those lines. Okay, well, first things first, let's get my feisty little chocobo, which is a reference, I think, to my little pony. Could have recommended it, because I wouldn't have found it otherwise. That allows you to fight alongside your chocobo. There's two of them though. Levies, I don't need levies, thanks. The seed appears to have caught a scent of something. The unmistakable smell of chocobo clings to you, adventurer. Would I be correct in assuming that you have your own trusty steed? Aye, I thought so. Now tell me, is that your bird battle train? If not, you might consider seeing the advice of Lackalot over at Ben Branch Mount Meadows. This guardian native is something of a prodigy in all matters concerning our fine feathered birds. 
should really help you attain a greater affinity with your bird. Alright, so now let's summon one of those mounts. So we have our original Chocobo, which is done that will fight with us, the company Chocobo. We have that one. We have the bigger version of that. The drop Chocobo. So this one allows us to ride with two people. So if my girlfriend ever comes to play with me on this game, this is the one we'll ride. There's a seat right behind me. Then we have Slapnir. This one has four legs. Yeah, sometimes there's Slapnir and Final Fantasy has six legs. I like the music from it. And then we have the Mystic Panda. <laughs> the music. I've always been amazed by pandas. They're very cool animals. Kind of derpy at times, but don't underestimate them. They're still bears. Pandas are still bears, man. They want to do you harm. You're screwed. But they're very playful when you look at them, when they play around, even as little pandas. They always tumble around, etc. Yeah, it's definitely better to have a, a mount now that we're going a lot faster. I guess we could remove these. Uh, unlock. And then we'll go with... Mount Roulette, there we go. Look a lot. Greetings, adventure. Is there something you need? You wish to have your chocobo train in combat? There's no small request you make. Riding your bird is one thing. Asking it to take hurts in your name is quite another. I'll help you train your chocobo, but on a promise you will never unduly expose it to danger. Do I have your word? Very well. To begin, we will need a bunch of geisho greens. You have me? You have my leave to pick one from the fields yonder. Return here when you have it. Obtain a fresh bunch of Geishel Greens. Have you acquired the Greens? I sure have. Superb, then we shall get straight to it. Doubtless you already know this, but Chocobos are highly fond of Geishel Greens. They love the leafy vegetables so much, in fact, that they will completely forget their fears in face of danger. Thus, by feeding your bird the Greens, you can prevail upon the fight beside you. And then, once called, it will be up to you to direct its actions as you see fit. You will find that chocobos inadequately respond to the number of general commands, giving your bird an order and it will act accordingly and to your best of its abilities. This simply yet effective methodology was developed by the Four Times family, one of the foremost houses of Goishgard. And that concludes your lesson. Of course it's not enough to merely hear about practice, one must venture forth and attempt one itself. 
Some of your chocobo with a bunch of geyser greens, and together you make your way to Sorrel Haven. The brute says that prowl the area ought to be a suitable challenge for you and your companion. Put down three of them and return here. And lastly, by the way of advice, I recommend you keep an ample supple, uh, an ample supply of geyser greens in your own personal at all times. Our resident vendor will be able to provide you with as much as you can carry. Alright, um, well, he just told me where to get them. Not him. There it is, probably. Shop. Not what I'm looking for. What, the guy's your greens again? Do you have them? Do you sell them? Wait, do I still need them in order to summon my chocobo? these things anyway. Oh, we got the fat chocobo. I like this one. You have like a, a rod in your hand now. It will walk after it. But when you want it to fly, you put a piece of cake in front of it. It normally does not level up that quickly. Question is, do we we don't want him to be a defender, because I'm a tank. Do we want him to be a healer? Could be healer or choco slash. Let's go with Choco Slash. Let's go with DPS. So, you've successfully negotiated your first few bells with your Chocobo? Well done. 
Tell me, how did it feel? Was it nuts? Supremely reassuring fighting with your feathered chocobo. Your chocobo can make up with your shortcomings or build upon your strengths. Indeed, there are countless ways the two of you might complement one another. Through some experimentation, you will come to find the approach that serves you best. Before I forget... Before I forget, I have one last parting gift. A saddlebag for your chocobo, carrying Geisha Greens about the quite cumbersome. After all, there should be sufficient room for your personal belongings should you need to arise. I pray it serves you well in your travels. Alrighty guys. Well, my food has arrived, so I'll be finishing my stream here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you liked the video, please leave it a like. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to help out, please consider subscribing. And I'd like to see you all back in the next Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Shout out to uh, Rachel Pikus for helping me out, JP Gaming, Robin, Blake Mars for joining the stream, as well as F100. Thank you guys, and I hope to see you all guys in the next Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Till then.